Great Voyage, The Cartoonist of the Straw Hats Chapter 176 Rubber Celestial Dragons Meet Shield Please subscribe Hello, I'm Kizaru huh? Weird Kizaru landed, did not immediately check the surrounding situation, but a black phone bug on the phone was talking Strange, hello Hearing that there was no response from the black phone bug, Kizaru frowned This guy, Zanmamaru, actually deserted It's outrageous Then, he slowly raised his head and looked forward his eyes fell on Liu Olan and Zora, Wu Tilda, you pirates who have offered a reward of over 100 million are really more cruel than the other. You are also imitating others to keep them in captivity. What about slaves Tilda? Hey hey Tilda. Liu Olan froze for a moment. Good guy. You, a dignified marine admiral, don't even care that the Draconians are held as slaves? And even openly tease Tilda. You can't fix it for me. Not only Liu Olan was confused and forced to 200, Zora also looked at Liu Olan in surprise. The situation is different from what you expected. Liu Olan spread his hands. This, I didn't understand Tilda. But at this moment, Charles Ross, who was lying at Liu Olan's feet, met Kizaru's eyes, and his swollen face suddenly trembled with emotion. Quick! Come and save me! Exclamation mark. Tilda. Kizaru squinted at Charles Ross, and said with a look of shame, Help you! Why, can it be you? Puff! This time, Liu Olan couldn't hold back anymore. What's wrong with this world? Marine Admiral said no to the Draconians. Not only said no, but also mocked him. Liu Olan would never have believed this if he hadn't experienced it himself. Hut Hilda, Charles Ross Saint himself was stunned. It's okay to be killed by pirates. But even Marine dares to humiliate him. This can never be tolerated. He immediately yelled, bastard. You open your dog eyes and take a good look at me. I am Charles Ross. You don't come to save me. I will definitely tell my dad. Whoops. Kizaru's forceful pose suddenly broke through the air, staggered, and then stared carefully at Charles Ross for a long time tilde. Only then did he say in a horrified voice, You dot 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 you are a tan long person. Liu Olan and Zora looked at each other tilde. Well, case solved. It's no wonder that this guy looks so stable, he didn't he even know that the one lying on the ground was Saint Charles Ross. But if you think about it carefully, Liu Olan has slapped the face of Charles Ross into a pig's head and there is no glass cover on his head, and he is tied to a dog chain like a slave. Let me ask a guy in such a situation, who can regard him as a tan long person. No one dared to think that way, and Kizaru naturally didn't think so either. Nonsense. I'm St. Charles Ross. These untouchables beat me and humiliated me. You kill them immediately. Seeing that Kizaru realized his identity, Charles Ross Saint's roar became louder. Hearing the roar of Charles Ross, Kizaru suddenly realized that something was wrong. It can be said that such things as beating Dan Long people have been rare for hundreds of years. What's more, it's this kind of thing that puts Danu people on chains like slaves. This is almost something that I dare not even imagine in my dreams. However, the two guys in front of them not only did it, but also waited for Marine Admiral to come. This is clearly a provocation. Wu Tilda, it is indeed unforgivable to do such a thing to the incomparably noble Dan. No longer thinking about anything. Kizaru raised his hand and pointed his index finger at Liu Lan. With a whooping sound, an extremely thick beam of laser light headed straight for Liu Lan. Ha ha, here we come. Liu Lan pushed Zoro away, and then pulled the iron chain in his hand, and the wrecked screw scale on the ground was lifted up directly. Liu Lan took advantage of the opportunity to push the fat pig like body of Charles Ross forward. Rubber rubber Dan long human shield. Puff. The laser beam pierced Charles Ross ST in an instant. Liu Lan twisted his waist and he easily dodged the laser beam penetrating from the back of Charles Ross. Ah! Dash! St. Charles Ross wailed, he looked at the wound hole on his body that had been burned black by the laser, and howled angrily, you dot 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 you want to kill me? Tilda! Kizaru obviously didn't expect that Liu Olan would use Charles Ross as a shield, and his expression changed immediately, and he quickly said, oh, oh, sorry, it's purely because I fell into the other party's tricks. Save me before explaining. I'm going to find my dad. St. Charles Ross was in so much pain that he yelled indiscriminately. No problem. Kizaru raised his finger again. But Liu Olan picked up Charles Ross in an instant, and blocked him like a door panel. Depend on. Kizaru is going to scold her mother. Horse riding, with the weakened physique of St. Charles Ross. If I give him another shot with my ability, he will really die. But this Liu Olan in front of him wants to use St. Charles Ross as a shield. Just don't talk about Yud. Come on. You're going to come. Liu Olan also imitated Kizaru's appearance, and made a look that didn't want to be beaten. Wu Tilda it's really scary Tilda. You are still provocative, right? Immediately, Kizaru became angry. Since you use St. Charles Ross as a shield, I don't need ranged attacks. Whoosh. Kizaru appeared in front of Liu Olan. Speed? Is power. Pirate Liu Olan, have you ever tasted being kicked by a beam? The moment he spoke, Kizaru's kick had already been kicked. It's too late, then it's too soon. With a bang. Liu Olan brought Charles Ross in front of him. Groove. The kick that was about to be kicked hard suddenly came to a super sudden stop tilde. Kizaru itself is coming at the speed of light, and at this time, he forcibly breaks at 0, 0.0.
but his body still does not move forward because of the consistency. In this way, he staggered immediately, then leaned to the side, and fell to the ground. Hey Tilda, Mr. Admiral, why did you fall? Liu Olan grabbed Charles Ross's collar, then looked at Kizaru who was sitting on the ground with sympathetic eyes. Come on, Admiral, you almost touched me. Dot. Even Kizaru, who is the most Buddhist character in Admiral, is completely stuck in Bengbu at this time. Wu Tilda, you bastard. If you play like this, don't blame me for being serious. As he said that, Kizaru's figure transformed into streamers of light, soaring into the sky. Chapter 177 Don't throw away the blown up mahogany, use it as a snack for little Millie, please subscribe. P.S. It has been sunny these days, with a high fever, and the code words are confused. I wrote a chapter yesterday and fell asleep almost seven or eight times. What is this for? Could it be that you want to use the eight-foot Kyangu? Seeing Kizaru turn into golden light all over the sky, Liu Olan curled his lips. Wondering what he was going to do Tilda, with the Tan Long Human Shield in hand, even if you are a 8 foot Kangu, you can only give me an 8 foot stroke Jade obediently Tilda, whoosh, a stream of light suddenly landed behind Zora, clean up one first, and then concentrate on cleaning up the other, taste the feeling of being kicked by the speed of light, the moment the words fell, Kizaru kicked out, exclamation mark, but just when he thought he had finished one, he felt that his kick was abruptly interrupted, you actually engaged in a sneak attack, what a bastard, at this time, Zora was holding the word of Hidao in his hand, blocking the foot of the yellow monkey. On the blade, the jet black armament Haki is extremely rich. Nani? Actually blocked it? Kizaru was really taken aback, he really didn't expect his sneak attack to be blocked by Zora Tilda. You know, he is sparkling fruit ability user 08, this kick has the speed of light. In addition, his own observation Haki is not weak, almost locking Zora firmly. This foot, is the foot that must kill, but this rookie pirate who just arrived at the Seibadi archipelago actually blocked it? Question mark. Although Kizaru also saw Zara's reward order, he knew that he was the guy who offered a reward of 320 million baileys tilde. But the question is, in Kizaru's eyes, there is a difference between your bounty of 300 million and that of a pirate with a bounty of 100 million. Obviously, there is no difference. If you want to guard against this kick tilde, armament Haki is the foundation tilde. Furthermore, observation Haki must be very strong, powerful enough to capture the trajectory of the speed of light. Kizaru wouldn't be surprised if the guy blocking his shot was Pluton Rayleigh. However, this is the rookie pirate. As for the sneak attack, Kizaru will not be ashamed of it Tilda. He wouldn't take it seriously at all. You bastard who likes to engage in sneak attacks, die for me. Zara bounced off Kizaru's kick with one blow, and slashed at Kizaru with a word in his hand. One knife style, big shock. A soaring sword intent instantly emanated from Zara's body Tilda. In addition, the release of higher level armament Haki was formed a strong Haki storm. This storm of Haki merges with Zora's sword momentum to form a new power force. With overwhelming force, this power suddenly pressed down on Kizaru. Hey hey hey, no way. Sensing the terrifying aura suddenly erupting from Zora, Kizaru's face froze instantly. The contempt from the previous moment suddenly disappeared, replaced by a particularly cautious dignified. This rookie, riders are not the same as other rookies. Facing the shocking coercion that was like the influx of seawater, Kizaru passively raised his hands and crossed them above his head, forming a temporary defense tilde. Boom. The energy coercion is like a nuclear explosion, immediately blurring Kizaru's figure tilde. Next moment, the terrifying explosion completely engulfed Kizaru. Are you kidding? Jewelry Bonnie, who had been spying from a distance, looked at the scene in front of her, and was so shocked that she almost ate her own tongue. Is that green algae head strong enough to steal Admiral? No wonder it is so rampant that even the Tanlong people dare to do it Tilda. It turns out that people are really not afraid of Admiral. Such a strong pervert, I am still worried about him? Question mark. It's so funny in the world. The aftermath of the shocking explosion dissipated, and Kizaru's figure looked a little embarrassed. The flamboyant golden suit was riddled with holes, although he was not injured. He was still in a state of embarrassment regarding the effect of this trick. Liu Olan didn't see any difference at all. You know, even in the original plot, Zora, who had just arrived in New World, once severely injured Monet, the Snow Snow Fruit ability, with a single strike. Although Monet died because of her heart being pierced in the end, judging from her state before she died, I'm afraid that even if he wasn't accidentally killed by a pig teammate, he wouldn't be able to survive. It can be seen that Zora's move is quite powerful against Lodia ability users. What's more, today Zora Armament Haki and Observation Haki have all reached the advanced level. When using this knife, its power is many times stronger than in the original plot. This is Kizaru. If it is replaced by other Logia ability users who are not Admiral, I am afraid that they will die directly under Zora's blow. Hey, Zora, I didn't ask you to duel with him. At this time, Liu Ogang suddenly reminded. Ah. Sorry, I forgot when I got excited. Remembering what he said earlier, Zora scratched his head apologetically. Are you deserting Tilda? Kizaru stood on the body of the hand and gave birth to an index finger, laser. The moment this kind of social media burst out from his fingers, it actually magnified instantly, 
like a laser cannon, it zooms in loudly. Here comes the opportunity tilde. Observation Haki caught Kizaru's attack from 647, and Zoro responded immediately, and his figure instantly adjusted a few steps to the left. At the same time, Kizaru's finger direction was adjusted slightly, and Zoro was locked immediately. The dreaded laser cannon went straight to cover Zoro. I flash. Just when the laser was about to hit him, Zoro made an extreme dodge and avoided the past. The laser cannon missed Zoro, but hit the huge alky mangrove tree behind Zoro. Boom! In the fiery explosion, the towering mangrove tree that represented the 24th peninsula fell miserably tilde. Yes, Zoro turned his head and saw this scene, excitedly clenched his fists tilde. On the other side, Liu Olan had already brought Charles Ross to the side of the collapsed Alchiman mangrove tree. He pressed the palm of his hand on the mangrove tree tilde. Whoosh! This towering ancient tree was taken into the system space by Liu Olan. These mangroves are very rare wood. It's a pity to throw away the blown up mahogany, and it's just right to use it as a snack for Xiaomili tilde. The key is, it's not us who broke it, it's Marine Admirals. Chapter 178, Lost Cards Stuck Big Bear. Please subscribe. Oh my god, this power is too terrifying. Seeing that there was a harvest, Zora simply continued to act out and started the escape mode. Want to run? Seeing this, Kizaru raised his hand again, and another laser shot at Zora. This angle, unbiased, happens to be on the line between Zora and another Alshan mangrove tree. Zora made a few lines of dodge so that the thick laser beam accurately landed on the Alchiman mangrove. Boom! In a burst of golden explosion light, the Alchiman mangrove tree was not spared, and the mangrove tree collapsed. Coming, Liu Olan came to this trophy in an instant and took it into his bag. Zora, all right, jump back. Liu Olan immediately sent a signal to Zora. Zora immediately understood Tilda. Escape Tilda? That is of course impossible. I just got two snacks for little Melly. How can this be possible? It is said to be fleeing, but in fact it is fleeing to the next peninsula. After all, you can't just catch mangroves on an island all the time, can you? The two soon arrived at Peninsula 25 Tilda. Put down the celestial dragon. Kizaru was really fooled. He turned into a golden streamer, blocking their way. As Marine Admiral, since he has come here, if these two pirates kidnap Tan Longren, then he will have no way to explain to Sengoku and the world government Tilda. FKU Tilda, if you have the ability, come and grab it yourself. While talking, Liu Olan blocked Saint Charles Ross in front of him, patted the guy's fat pig's head hard, and said, here. Actually, you just need to use your laser to avoid this fat pig, and then hit me again, isn't it done? Woo Tilda, you bastard, you are so provocative. If you have the ability, don't move, see if I can hit. Seeing Liu Olan's frightened look, Kizaru was also furious. Don't look at the good name of 8-foot stroke Jade in the original plot, but that just shows that he really has extremely accurate shooting accuracy. Don't you see that when Luffy was on the execution platform, Kizaru directly hit the key in Luffy's hand with a laser. However, facing the situation before him, Kizaru was helpless. The main reason is that Liu Olan's observation Haki is stronger than Kizaru's, which causes Kizaru's laser beam to be accurately captured by Liu Olan before it hits Liu Olan. As long as Liu Olan wants, he can ask Charles Ross to be hit by the laser beam instead of him at any time. That's why Kizaru tied his hands when facing Liu Olan. However, Liu Olan doesn't want Kizaru to focus on him now. After all, what they want is the red tree, not to fight with Kizaru. Suddenly, Liu Olan looked at Zora. You run first. I have a hostage in my hand, he can't do anything to me. If you are caught by him, he will use you to blackmail me, and it will be troublesome to change the hostage with me. Vertical bar. Hey, don't underestimate people. I'm not the kind of cat or dog who can be caught casually. Seemingly underestimated by Liu Olan, Zora was immediately unconvinced. But Kizaru's heart fluttered slightly. Yes, grab one and use it for a hostage exchange. Yugi's reminded me. You just wait there, and you are going to exchange your partner for the celestial dragon. Kizaru disappeared with a whoosh and then appeared in front of Zora. Next, it is the yellow and green chase battle. Boom. Dash. A mangrove tree collapsed tilde. Another red tree destroyed. Peninsula 26 tilde. Peninsula 27 tilde. Peninsula 28 tilde. Peninsula 29 tilde. Unknowingly, the trio's chase has moved from island 24 to island 30. Hey hey hey, this is not right. Suddenly, Zora panted heavily, and looked at Liu Olan unhappily. Why am I always running? But you are playing around with Dan Longren as a shield tilde. Obviously we agreed that the two of us would work together to get some snacks for little Mealy, but it turned out that I was doing all the work alone, and you were so leisurely by the side. Zora said that he was regarded as a big grudge. No. Let me take the Tan Long people to rest. Zora sprinted and came to Liu Olan. Liu Olan didn't refuse either, and directly gave Zora the Charos Saint. Coincidentally, he also wants to exercise his muscles tilde. Liu Olan took Kizaru to a few more islands and collected nearly twenty mangroves one after another. A fat figure appeared in front of his eyes. I go. Looking at the round belly, Liu Lan recognized Bartholomew Kima immediately, and this guy is holding a book in his hand, so there is no doubt that he is the real one. If you wanted to travel, 
Where would you like to go? Wabath Halimikuma was asking questions. His right palm had already been raised. Travel is free. You'd better have a good swim in a maze. Liu Olan is not absurd at all. He has communicated the magic power of croak cards. The abilities of the shield and the fan are activated by him at the same time. Exclamation mark dash. Bath Halimukuma's ball bounced directly onto the shield's defensive barrier. However, the shield barrier does not move at all. The ejection wave of the meat ball disappeared without a trace as if a mud cow entered the sea. At the same time, the fan card in Liu Olan's left hand turned into invisible energy, which enveloped Bath Halimukuma all at once. Whoosh! Bath Halimukuma disappeared together with the energy light curtain of the fan card. In the maze space, this is a maze made of maze energy. It looks like a medieval garden maze tilde. The partitions of the maze are formed by tall green belts. Bath Halimukuma was standing here at this moment. He looked at the green belt like barriers on the left and right. After the initial days, his eyes regained their calmness. He raised his right hand and shot out of the green belt barrier next to him with a bang. Pressure cannon. The moment his palm touched the air, an air wave in the shape of a bear's paw suddenly appeared in the originally invisible air. As soon as the bear's paw air fluctuation appeared, it was instantly magnified. Boom. Dash. The bear paw air cannon violently hit the green belt barrier beside it. In a violent explosion, the green belt barrier was directly blasted to pieces. Bath Halimukima raised his foot and stepped towards the gap. But as soon as I came to the front, the gap that was blown up was restored to its original state. Um, Bath Halimukima was taken aback for a moment, then released the pressure cannon again. Boom. The green belt barrier was broken, and he immediately left and rushed out. It's just that. When he rushed outside the green belt barrier, he found that it was still outside the green belt barrier. Boom, boom, boom. The green belt barrier of the maze was bombed in an instant tilde. Before the energy of the lost cards is exhausted, a new maze will be formed at a faster speed. Bath Halimukim stopped bombing and looked up instead. The sky above the labyrinth has no cover. He stepped on his feet and jumped to the top. But, tick, when his figure was about to exceed the height of the green belt, the green belt actually began to climb. Bath Halimukim flies a foot higher, and this green belt climbs a battle. And faster than Bath Halimukim's, Bath Halimukim stopped. Lost in thought tilde. Chapter 179 One person stops admiral and retreats. Please subscribe. Say buddy archipelago tilde. Nani. Bath Halimukima where did that guy go? Kizaru immediately turned on the observation haki, but couldn't sense the existence of Bath Halimukima. There's no need to look for him. He's already been killed by me. Liu Olan said foolishly. Wu tilde do you think I'm a three year old? Of course Kizaru would not believe such words. Liu Olan spread his hands. Believe it or not. Originally Kizaru didn't believe it. But seeing Liu Olan's indifferent look, he suddenly became a little worried tilde. If the other party is trying to prove that Bath Halimukima is dead, then he will not be worried. But it is such an indifferent appearance that makes people worry about the safety of Bath Halimukima. Hey! Chloral ahead. You are here. Suddenly, Sanji's voice appeared on the side. He grabbed Zora by the collar and yelled loudly, Didn't I tell you to wait in the restaurant? I just wanted to see a woman. But when you turned around, you disappeared. Puff tilde. Liu Olan curled her lips tilde. This Nima, is worthy of being Sanji. But Sanji came at the right time. Liu Olan has already collected not more than 40 or 50 Alchiman mangroves to use as snacks for Little Mali, which is enough. All you have to do now is retreat. Someone had to stay and block Kizaru at 40 because Charles Ross was going to be taken away. But when only Liu Olan and Zora were present, this matter could not be done. Because Zora is a road idiot. If you let him take Street Charles Ross back to going merry first, you can't guarantee that he will send Street Charles Ross back to naval headquarters. Now with Sanji, this problem is solved. Sanji. You and Zoro will bring back the captives we captured. I'll stop Admiral here. After you go back, send a signal to everyone, and let them gather on the ship immediately. Liu Olan said to Sanji. New. Although Sanji is bitter about Liu Olan's capture of Nami's heart, he is still very reliable in his work. Especially when doing business, Sanji can even be used as a single core. Quick, chloral ahead idiot, follow me. Sanji grabbed Zoro's hand and ran away. Say you run away in front of Admiral, don't you take me too seriously? Kizaru clasped his hands together and a dazzling light condensed from where his two palms faced each other. The next moment, the golden light group emitted a ray of light. After bouncing back and forth between the buildings a few times, I caught up with Sanji and Zora in no time. I've said it all, don't try to slip away from my nose. At the end of the beam ejection, Kizaru's figure quietly appeared, kicking with a barb in the air, very angry. I also said, let my partner escape first Tilda. With a whoosh, Liu Olan seemed to appear out of nowhere and kicked towards Kizaru's goal. The powerful observation Haki has already captured Kizaru's trajectory tilde. Liu Lan's own speed attribute is displayed at this moment. The speed is as fast as teleportation. Even Kizaru's beam, Liu Lan can catch up. Boom. Under the action of armament Haki, Liu Gang easily blocked Kizaru's body. For the appearance of Liu Lan, Kizaru frowned suddenly into a word of Quan. This is unreasonable. I am a sparkling fruit user. How could he be so fast? Even if his observation Haki is very strong, 
but I have already shot first, he can at most catch up with hindsight. Might be faster than mine? Question mark. Liu Olan stepped on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. After several violent shocks in a row, his whole body's aura suddenly changed. It is eight that opens the momentum effect of the fifth Du Dor tilde. With such power and speed, Liu Olan flew into the air. Leaf great whirlwind. This looks like a volley kick, but in Liu Olan's use, the speed has reached a level that no one has ever seen before. Even Kizaru just felt a blur in front of his eyes at this time, and was hit by Liu Olan's kick. Relying on his subconscious fighting instinct, he crossed his arms above his head, just in time to meet Liu Olan's kick. Aid, boom. Kizaru's figure was like a cannonball, which smashed heavily into the concrete building beside him, and then smashed all the way through. After destroying more than a dozen houses in a row, Kizaru stood up from the ruins. What kind of power is this? Dot 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 what the hell? Originally thought it was just a mission similar to public travel, but I didn't expect to kick the iron plate when I first arrived here. And until now, not only failed to save Dan Longrin from the other party, but he was also shown by the other party Tilda. There are two options left for Kizaru now. One is to brace yourself. One is to ask the headquarters for help immediately. Rationally speaking, asking the headquarters for help is the best option. But in fact, Kizaru can't do that. Once he does this, it means that the dignified Marine Admiral can't deal with a supernova who just went to sea. This will spread, and Kizaru will really be ashamed. Old man, what happened? Why haven't you contacted me until now? Just when Kizaru was feeling at a loss, Sen Mamaru appeared by his side in time carrying a battle axe. Kizaru suddenly shouted angrily, Zan Tawan, you finally showed up, I have notified you for so long, and you didn't even reply. Grandpa. Did you make a mistake? I haven't received any messages or calls from you from the beginning to the end. As Kizaru's number one capable officer, Zan Fufu knows Kizaru's living habits too well, he reminded, Are you talking to the black phone bug again, huh? Is that right? Kizaru looked at the black phone on his wrist, and blushed suddenly, Wu Tilda, so this is the situation. However, this is not the time to pursue this issue. You must stop those two people from the Straw Hat crew, and you must save the Vice Admiral Dan Long people from them. Kizaru immediately gave orders to Momomaru. Don't worry old man, leave this matter to me. Senwa Mamaru glanced at the direction Kizaru was pointing at, and immediately saw Zara and Sanji running wildly with Charles Ross on their backs. I'm not familiar with the road conditions of this island, look at my shortcut. Zan Tawan's speed is not slow, and he took a shortcut, and soon appeared in front of Zara and Sanji. Give up. My defense is the strongest in the world. Anything can be defended. Zan Tawan made a gesture of pushing palms forward with both hands, and said with a resolute face, Rush. Dash. One sword style AI. Zara's figure appeared behind Senmamaru. Puff tilde. Blood splashes. Zan Tawan fell to the ground tilde. It seems that you are not the strongest defense in the world. Zara complained. Cantling inserted Hidao's words back into the scabbard. Chapter 180 Ace will be executed. Luffy panicked. Please subscribe. Hey, boy. What are you doing this for? If you want to gain benefits by kidnapping the Celestial Dragons, I advise you to give up your mind as soon as possible. Celestial Dragons will not compromise with pirates. Seeing that Charles Ross was taken away by Zora and Sanji, Kizaru knew it was useless, so he simply wanted to reason with Liu Lan. What if the other party just happens to be soft but not hard? What are you talking about? What are the advantages and disadvantages? The purpose of us taking Charles Ross away is actually very simple, just to kill him. That's all Tilda. Liu Lan crossed his arms in front of him, showing a harmless expression. Nani, Kizaru felt his blood pressure saw Tilda. Nima, this is pure purpose? Question mark. God Nima is simple. Do you know what you're talking about? Killing the Dan Long people is a bigger crime than declaring war by the government of the city and the world. Kizaru was not in a hurry to attack Liu Olan, but persuaded him persuasively. What? Don't tell me that if I don't kill this fat Tan Long man, the government of the world won't want to kill me. Come on, you are a marine admiral anyway. You should be able to understand with a little use of your brain. We are pirates. Just put my head on the waistband of my trousers to live. Are you afraid of the crime? Roland walked to the ruins beside him, sat on a big rock, and twitched his lips slightly. I think you understand better than me, the only thing that has the right to speak in this world is this, saying that, Liu Olan raised his fist tilde, strength is the right to speak, okay tilde, our people should have successfully evacuated, and I should go too, there will be a period later tilde, Liu Olan waved to Kizaru and left, I can't let you leave so easily, Kizaru's figure turned into a streamer of light, quickly blocking Liu Olan's front, why, it's almost done, do you get overtime pay for working so hard, think about it twice, and then clock out, won't you? Looking at Kizaru in front of him, Liu Lan rubbed his chin. This little guy works so hard. Could it be that Sengoku added money to him today? That can't be done. You took the Tan Long people away. I must keep you, so that I can give Tan Long an explanation. Kizaru clasped his hands together and pulled to the sides tilde. A golden light bursts out from between his palms that are slowly parting. Amazon Cloud Sword. Underscore. Moments later, Kizaru was holding a golden lightsaber in a rather cool shape. But at this moment, an angry voice came from not far away. 
Marine Admiral, I received information that my big brother was taken away by the untouchables. I order you to rescue my big brother immediately return. Huh? God's assist is here. Seeing this female celestial dragon with an air shield on her head, Liu Olan's eyes lit up tilde. Just thinking that fighting with Kizaru is boring, this Shilulia palace is here to join in the fun. Liu Olan communicated the magic power of the cloud card, and the fire card instantly appeared in his hand, fire roasting. The fire card turned into an invisible energy, and then evolved into a huge fire which suddenly hit Xiaolia. Ah! Underscore. Xiaolia Palace screamed in horror. Although the Tanlong people are noble, they are generally powerless guys. Once such a huge fire is poured on her body, Xiaolia Palace will definitely turn into a roast chicken at the speed of light in just one minute. Oops! Kizaru panicked immediately. Eight-foot mirror. The path of golden light quickly shot out from between his palms, and landed in front of Xiaolia Palace. Whoosh! Just go to Kizaru. Just as Xiaolia Palace was howling in horror, Kizaru propped up a piece of golden light with both hands, completely sealing the raging flames out. After the flames outside disappeared, Kizaru removed the golden light curtain. That pariah, he even wanted to burn me to death. Bastard, you must catch him, and I will treat him as my slave. Although she almost experienced death just now, Xiaolia Gong didn't know how to restrain herself. She kicked Kizaru's leg angrily and shouted. Kizaru frowned Tilda. An impulsive thought of I should have let you be burned to death just now came to my mind Tilda. Now the flames dissipated, and Liu Olan's figure disappeared. New. Kizaru responded in a low voice, and then simply out of sight, with a whoosh, he found a random direction and chased him out. The other side Tilda, going merry. Oh ha ha, we're back. The schoolboy quartet of Luffy, Usopp, Chopper and Kaya happily arrived at the port and boarded going merry. Hey. That bubble ferris wheel is so interesting. I really want to sit on it. Usopp said happily while recalling the experience just now. Kai also took a small sip. If I used to be in Xiluobu village, I might never see such interesting things in my life. Let me tell you, Usopp almost wet his pants when he was on that roller coaster. Ha ha ha. Luffy grinned wide, held his hands high, and smiled from ear to ear. Hey hey hey. You still have a nerve to talk about me. You looked no better than me at that time Tilda. Usopp can quit. Immediately start exposing each other Tilda. DZ. Chopper seemed to have noticed something was wrong. He tilted his head and looked at everyone with puzzled eyes. What's the matter? Did something happen? Where is Liu Lan? Why not? Dot. Chopper glanced at the deck and saw that everyone was there except Liu Lan. He subconsciously thought that something happened to Liu Lan. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. Liu Lan is dragging Admiral dot 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 but he will be fine. Sanji took a deep breath and then continued with some difficulty. What's going on is. Having said that. Sanji looked at Luffy. Hey Tilda? I. Luffy pointed to his own. A question appeared on his face. It's not, Luffy, it's. Sanji shook his head, hesitated to speak, then spread out the newspaper in his hand. Tilda. Luffy brought the newspaper over and saw the headline on the front page. Fire for Stace, captain of the Whitebeard Pirates second team, will be executed at naval headquarters. R exclamation mark underscore. When seeing such news, Luffy's whole body went numb, and let out a panic scream. Ace. He held the newspaper tightly in his hand, and the originally optimistic smiling face suddenly became dazed, hesitant, and at a loss. Dot 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 zero. His eyes were confused, and he looked around. I want to save Ace. Friends, you go to the next island first, and when I rescue Ace, I will join you. Bastard, what are you talking about? Sanji picked up Luffy's skirt. Who do you think we are? Zara touched the handle of the knife. Yes, Luffy, you are going to rescue Ace. We will go with you. Frankie rubbed his fists together. This week I'm very... Um, if it's saving people, I really like doing it. Yo ho 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 Tilda. Brooke turned around, but naval headquarters. Let's go and have a look. Hey, don't do stupid things. Ace's affairs are my own affairs. I must not let everyone be implicated because of Ace's affairs. Listen to me, I will go alone for the matter of saving people. Luffy snapped loudly. Duang. A punch landed on Luffy's head, and Liu Olan's figure was on top of going merry. Stupid Luffy. Ace's affairs are your own affairs. But your affairs are everyone's affairs. So... If you dare to say stupid things again, don't blame us for being rude. Liu Olan rubbed his fists. He was the one who punched just now. That's right, Luffy. Stop being self-righteous. Your business is our business. If you want to go solo again, let's see if we don't beat you to death. Save your big brother. I did this. I did it too. You all, when seeing his partners supporting him so much, Luffy's eyes turned red, and he looked up and wailed. I, I won't talk anymore. Chapter 181 The Battle is Imminent. Practice with all your strength. Please subscribe. A deserted island about 70 nautical miles away from the Sabadi archipelago, the Golden Mary is currently docked here. Judging from the current situation, naval headquarters will publicly execute Ace in a week's time. In the conference room, Liu Olan analyzed the situation before him. To be honest, for Ace to be caught, it was completely beyond Liu Olan's expectation. Although Blackbeard teaches Devil Fruit can restrain Logia ability users, 
but Ace has practiced flame dragon slaying magic, this ability is not affected by dark fruit ability. According to common sense, facing today's Blackbeard teach, even if Ace can't completely win, he can still leave if he wants to. I don't know how I got caught, but now is obviously not the time to pursue this issue, but to help Luffy save his brother Tilda. We have to rescue Ace from prison before he is sent to naval headquarters. 27 Luffy was burning with anxiety, expressing his opinion. That's a good idea, it's much easier to go to prison than to go to the execution ground. Frankie agreed with both hands. Brooke modeled his afro, yo ho 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 Tilda, I also agree with jailbreak. Liu O Lan, what do you think? At this time, Robin looked at Liu O Lan. Compared with everyone's opinions, Robin thinks that Liu O Lan's opinions are more reliable. The others also looked at Liu O Lan. After all, in terms of decision making, the deputy captain is obviously much more reliable than the captain. If you want to rob the prison, then you don't need to. Liu O Lan shook his head, he looked at Luffy, robbing the prison is the worst strategy, and robbing the execution ground is the best strategy. Robbery? Hearing this, the Yin family all subconsciously looked at Liu O Lan. Hey, 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 Liu O Lan. Did you make a mistake? Is it easier to rob the execution ground than the jail? Frankie's eyes widened, expressing his incomprehension. Sanji also nodded. The execution ground this time is at naval headquarters. If we go there to rob the execution ground, isn't it like throwing ourselves into a trap? As one of the representatives of the calm faction, Sanji considers the issue more meticulously. Even he felt that Liu O Gang's idea was not wise. Liu O Lan, naval headquarters should be more difficult, right? Nami sit the red pie and said cautiously, it's not only bigger, it's even harder than reaching the sky. You so yelled directly. Zora pondered for a while, and said in a deep voice, if it's a prison robbery, then we can sneak forward. But if it's a robbery of the execution ground, it seems that we can only attack head on. And the location of the execution scene is naval headquarters. In this case, robbing the execution ground will undoubtedly become a suicidal act. Please stay calm, everyone, let us talk about what Liu Olan said. Robin raised his hand and pressed down signaling everyone not to worry. Everyone is right, robbing the execution ground is indeed a difficult thing to achieve. But, this time is different. Liu Lan crossed his hands in front of him, and continued, Sengoku placed the execution site of Ace in naval headquarters, not to target us, but to target the Whitebeard Pirates. Against the Whitebeard Pirates? Hearing this, Robin was thoughtful and seemed to understand something. Wait. You mean, the Whitebeard Pirates will also be involved in the rescue of Ace? Usopp's eyes lit up and he asked excitedly. Liu Olan shook his head, not to participate, but they will be the main force to rescue Ace, and choose to start an all-out war with Marine. What? Hearing this, Luffy was shocked. Liu Olan, you mean, Ace's pirate group will start a war with Marine for Ace? As much as Luffy would love for this to happen, but this is too outrageous for an Ace. The whole regiment goes to war with Marine? Is this a bit of a joke? In other words, Ace, why should he? Sanji muttered confused. Can this kind of thing really happen? Is Ace really important to that extent in Whitebeard's heart? Only more important than you think. Liu Lan nodded, then he grabbed Luffy's hand and said seriously, this matter is very troublesome to explain, but you can trust me, the Whitebeard pirates will definitely arrive at naval headquarters on the day of Ace's execution, and Marine will open big fight. And we also appeared on that day. In this way, our strength plus the strength of the Whitebeard pirates can have a chance to save Ace. After all, it was naval headquarters. Even though Liu Olan was already so powerful, he didn't dare to say anything outrageous. If you want to save Ace, you must rely on the power of the Whitebeard Pirates. Otherwise, it is absolutely impossible to rely on these few members of the Straw Hat Pirates alone. If the Whitebeard Pirates can really appear on the battlefield of naval headquarters, then this matter will be much easier. Robin analyzed it seriously, and then looked at Liu Olan. How sure are you about the Whitebeard Pirates joining the battle? Liu Olan is categorical. 100% Sanji heard this, and said, in this case, then, Liu Olan, follow your plan. Liu Olan looked at Luffy, Luffy, are you listening to me? As long as it can save Ace, I'm willing to listen to anything. Luffy is weak in battle planning, but he knows that Liu Olan is good at this kind of thing. All the way from East Blue, every time Liu Olan's plan has been successful without exception. Therefore, he has full trust in Liu Olan. Okay, then I announce my plan for the next week. Liu Olan made a decision, and then ordered. Everyone will practice with all their strength this week. As for how to make us appear in naval headquarters on the day of the execution, I will leave it to me. Good. Everyone has no objections. If it is another pirate group, it must be nonsense if they say something about cultivating with all their strength within a week. But the Straw Hat Pirates are different. They can enter the comics to practice. Just one week can be equivalent to several months, or even longer. Time 5.3 flashed, and it was evening tilde. Everyone has turned on the practice mode. And going merry, under the command of Liu Olan slowly sailed into the calm belt, approaching Nine Snakes Island. At this juncture, 
Luo Lan did not come to Nine Snakes Silent for fun. I'm here for help. 89. If you want Going Merry to reach Naval Headquarters smoothly, you must either rely on brute force or rely on tricks. If possible, Luo Pai of course wants to rely on tricks, because it not only saves time and effort, but also is more secure. And the key to being able to approach Naval Headquarters smoothly is whether the woman is willing to cooperate Tilda. Chapter 182 Hancock, why didn't you bow down under the pomegranate skirt of this king? Please subscribe. Calm Belt, Hydra Tilda. The pirate ship Perfume Snake is slowly approaching the inland port. On the deck, the female fighters who just shot the pirates are counting the harvest this time. As soon as they enter Hong Kong, they will distribute the harvest to the people of Nine Snake Island. But when the Perfume Snake sailed into the inland waterway of Nine Snake Island, the sniper Jendon suddenly shouted, Master Snake, it's not good. It seems that a pirate ship is docking at our port. A pirate ship broke in. He didn't hear the voice of Snake Hancock, but heard Sanderson ear questioning in doubt. Afterwards, Sanderson ear walked to the front of the deck and looked towards the direction of the port. Huh? That ship dot 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 is indeed not our nine snakes island. After confirming the pirate ship in the port, Sanderson ear looked carefully. I saw that on the port, the female warriors of nine snake island had already stood around several times densely, and their bows and arrows were all fully drawn. Enemy attack. Immediately, Sanderson ear gave a loud warning without hesitation. At this time, Bower Hancock, the captain of the nine snake pirates, also appeared. Is this someone who broke into this king's territory recklessly? Walking with unrecognizable steps, Hancock tilted his head back in an exaggerated gesture tilde. She pointed with her finger and ordered, Go, take down these invaders for me. Soon, the pirate ship Perfume Snake arrived at the port and blocked the invading pirate ship inside. Oh eight Master Snake Princess is back. It is His Majesty who has come. His Majesty. The female warriors on the port saw the pirate ship Perfume Snake coming and all them showed expressions of relief. What's going on? Who hurt you? Hancock walked to the edge of the deck, but saw several female warriors sitting on the ground in the port, apparently under attack. Your Majesty, it's him. It was done by a hot man. Many female warriors pointed at the deck of another pirate ship, and this pirate ship is naturally going merry. On the splint, Liu Olan waved to Hancock. Hello, I did it Tilda. Dot. Seeing Liu Olan's calm appearance, the female fighters of the Nine Snake Pirates couldn't believe it. Nasty man, you injured our people, and you still greet us with this attitude? Question mark. You are committing suicide. Or, men are absolutely not allowed to enter Nine Snake Island tilde, and for you to appear here as a man, first of all, it is already a capital offense. Plus, death to hell. Irreverent man, accept this king's trial. Without saying a word, Hancock shot at Liu Olan directly. She made a heart shape with her hands in front of her. Marum Romello. Sweet fruit ability activated. Pink light waves burst out from Hancock's fingertips, like ripples on the surface of a lake, enveloping the direction of Liu Olan in a circle tilde. Liu Olan stood there without moving, holding onto the railing next to him with one hand, and posing in a comfortable pose. Let the pink light waves brush over his body tilde. Like the wind, the light wave gently lifted the hair on Liu Olan's forehead tilde. Red wind. Not bad tilde. Liu Olan shrugged his shoulders and gave a slight comment, facing devil fruits of this kind. Liu Olan is the least worried. The immune effect brought by the protection of the goddess of holy light to Liu Olan is enough to make all magic like negative buffs immune. So, not to mention Rumoromelo, even a sweet hurricane is useless. Question mark. But this scene fell in the eyes of everyone in the Nine Snake Pirates. But all of them had question marks on their heads instantly. It's okay. What? What's going on? Why does Master Serpentine's fruit ability have no effect on him? Is this man not at all attracted by Lady Snake's beauty? This is impossible. How can there be a stinky man in the world who doesn't covet His Majesty's beauty? Everyone looked at Liu Olan in shock, as if seeing a ghost. Hancock opened his red lips in astonishment, and he was stunned for a few seconds before he opened his mouth in astonishment. Why didn't you bow down under the pomegranate skirt of this king? I say Hancock. Is the shock ready? When the shock is over, let's get down to business. Liu Lan didn't intend to sit here and wait for them all to be shocked, but came to handle business. Impossible. As if Hancock couldn't accept this setting, he stepped on his feet immediately, and the whole person jumped up lightly and jumped towards going merry. He was in the air, and Hancock immediately kicked Liu Lan with a super kick! Exclamation mark. The slender legs, containing the ability of sweet fruit, crashed towards Liu Lan's head. Liu Lan remained as still as a mountain, and with a light flick of his right hand, he immediately caught Hancock's ankle tilde. This random catch instantly locked Hancock's ankle like a shackle. Ah hey, your angle. I really opened my eyes tilde. Liu Olan lightly raised his hand, and immediately made Hancock have nothing to hide. It turns out to be so frivolous to this king. This king orders you to let go immediately. Hancock never expected that not only did her attack not work, but the opponent's palm was like an indestructible iron clamp, which made it impossible for her to break free once she was caught. She was forced to raise her heels, her right hand was on her hips. Her left hand was pointed forward, her neck was bent backwards, 
and she said, immediately follow my king's orders, no matter what my king's orders, you will obey them, yes, because this king is so beautiful, however the next moment, Hancock didn't feel that the other party had any intention to let go of him Tilda, suddenly she said angrily, what are you still doing in a daze, could it be that you didn't hear what this king said, are you kidding me, you attacked me well and now I've caught you, and you still speak to me in this commanding tone, Liu Olan pouted, although Hancock is as beautiful as a celestial being, his personality is really stinky Tilda, Liu Olan doesn't like it very much Tilda, Liu Olan still likes Nami's kind, Hancock said proudly, this king ordered you, you should be grateful, it is this king who gave you the opportunity to obey my order, that's right, my sister gave you the opportunity to obey her orders, you should be moved to tears, shameless man, why don't you just have fun, you actually grabbed Master Shiji's leg like that, men are really old fashioned, it's really vulgar, let go of the designer's feet, don't continue to grab the designer's ankle with your dirty hands, shameless man, even the female fighters of the pirate group also clamored, listen to Liu Olan Tilda, wow, it smells like a certain boner, sure enough, creatures like women are really the same everywhere, good, you like boxing, right, then I'll let you punch your fill, woman, don't be so self-righteous, I don't like a woman with a bad temper like you at all, as he spoke, Liu Olan swung his right hand vigorously, throwing Hancock's heel away, Hancock suddenly found such a force and threw it out, and was immediately turned half a circle by the rotation force of his own leg under the action of inertia, hot Hilda, looking at Hancock's back, Liu Olan's heart skipped a beat, originally, he just wanted to throw Hancock out, but now seeing such a position and distance, his hands were itchy Tilda, no matter, don't you think that men all over the world are your licking dogs, then I will make you sober, immediately, Liu Olan raised his hand and threw it out with a palm Tilda, at this time, Hancock was thrown with his back facing Liu Olan, and he staggered forward and bent over, damn bastard, dare to be so rude to this king, this king will turn you into stone, immediately, Hancock steadied himself, but just when she was about to stand upright, she heard a crisp sound, this voice, etc., almost at the same time, Hancock felt a burst of pain Tilda, arc tears of pain burst from Hancock's eyes almost uncontrollably, chapter 183 broadcasting the execution of celestial dragons to the world, please subscribe, hiss, dash, whether it's the female warriors on the deck of the perfume snake, or the female warriors on the port, at this time, all of them stared fiercely and opened their mouths wide, each mouth can even fit a big radish, I dot 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 we saw, what, unexpectedly dot 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 someone actually gave master snake G a big ass? question mark, really, is there such a ruthless idiot in this world? question mark, that is the most beautiful woman in the world, Hancock's eyes were full of horror and disbelief, she covered the sore spot, moved her steps and turned her head, stared at Liu Olan with wide eyes, and said tremblingly at the corner of her mouth, you dot 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 you actually hit me personally, why, you can hit me, but I can't hit you, Liu Olan spread his hands, showing no sign of guilt, question mark, the empress is completely fascinated Tilda, she was furious, are you a man, you asked this dot 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 how about I prove it to you now, as he said that, Liu Olan immediately grabbed his trouser waist and pulled it down, ah, the female soldiers all exclaimed in unison, but the next moment, only then did everyone realize that Liu Olan was just pretending to do an action Tilda, ah, what an unreasonable stinky man, Hancock rubbed his forehead, and there was a gloomy air stuck in his mouth, anyway, stinky man, you have touched the bottom line of Nine Snakes Island, and you have injured my people on Nine Snakes Island, I definitely can't let you go, while Hancock was speaking, his eyes fell on the disgraced female warriors on the port, although they didn't seem to be seriously injured, they must have been dealt with by Liu Olan, Liu Olan took out a piece of chewing gum from his bosom, tore open the package, and put it in his mouth, I can't blame me for this, I told them as soon as I came, saying that I came to talk to you about something, they shot at me indiscriminately, I just taught them a little lesson, which is already very face-saving, Hancock could tell that those female warriors had indeed only been taught a little lesson, otherwise, with Liu Olan's strength, it would be easy to kill them, you said you came to talk to this king, but this king doesn't want to talk to this stinky man, having been refuted by Liu Olan just now, of course Hancock will not follow Liu Olan at this time, that's not necessarily the case, I'll let you see the person first, then you can consider whether you want to talk to me Tilda, Liu Olan didn't have Cook to argue about anything, but opened the lid of the big wooden barrel beside him, he stretched out his hand to grab it in the wooden barrel, and picked it up again, a fat guy with big ears was just picked out of the big wooden barrel by Liu Olan, boom, Liu Olan threw this guy casually, throwing him on the deck like a dead pig, another stinky man, looking at the guy with a swollen face, Hancock looked disgusted, no, 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 take a closer look at this guy, he is not an ordinary person Tilda, Liu Olan smiled, grabbed Charles Ross by the hair, and lifted him up, Hancock looked at it for a while, and then said disdainfully, isn't he just an ugly, smelly man, what's the difference, hey hey Tilda, hearing this, Liu Olan was stunned, but then, he suddenly figured it out, 
He can recognize St. Charles Ross at a glance, that's because of his time traveler, and people in this world, not many people have seen Tan Long people. Even if you have seen a Tan Long Ren, if you don't wear an eye mask on the head of the Tan Long Ren, it is difficult to recognize it. Just like Kizaru before, even as Admiral, didn't he recognize Charles Ross? Then Hancock did not recognize it, and it is indeed reasonable. Okay, let me introduce this pig. Shrugging his shoulders, Liu Olan then pointed to the head of St. Charles Ross. This guy's name is St. Charles Ross, from the Holy Land of Mary E. Joyce. As for his identity, I think. Hancock should have heard understand. Ah, when Liu Olan introduced the identity of Charles Ross, all the female warriors around screamed in horror. God dot 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 Draco. Hey hey hey, you must be joking right? Don't make such a joke. In this world, maybe a three-year-old child knows that you must never offend the Tanu people. What's more, you treat the Tanlong people like this. This must be fake. The female soldiers all yelled in horror. However, the faces of the three Hancock sisters changed in a different way. Celestial Dragon. That is the indelible devil deep in the hearts of the three sisters. When hearing the identity of the Tanlong people, the three sisters jiping turned pale from conditioned reflex. And when Hancock looked at Charles Ross again, she was almost sure that this guy was a draconian. No way, as an existence who has stayed in the Holy Land for several years, Hancock still has a certain understanding of identifying Tanlong people. I just didn't think about the identity of Tanlong Rin just now. But after being told by Liu Olan about the identity of St. Charles Ross, Hancock looked at St. Charles Ross again. Charles Ross Saint identity, definitely a dragon. You. What are you doing? Hancock subconsciously took two steps back. She was once enslaved by the Tanlong people, and she didn't want to mention that kind of thing again in her life. Moreover, although Hancock hated the Celestial Dragons, she still did not dare to offend the Celestial Dragons. Seeing Liu Olan bring a Celestial Dragon in front of her, Hancock's first thought was not revenge, but fear. She is afraid of getting burned. Snapped. Liu Lan went up and gave Charles Ross a big ear melon seed, and slapped him, terrified and lying on the ground. What are you afraid of? Question mark. Although he is a celestial dragon, he only has two eyes and one mouth, nothing more than us. Now I beat him like a dog tilde. Liu Lan kicked Charles Ross in front of Hancock, and then said, Do you want to have fun? But Hancock stepped back in horror. Ah, don't let him get close to me. I originally thought that an invincible woman like Empress Hancock would be different. I didn't expect that she was as afraid of Tan Long people as those cowardly commoners. Liu Lan chuckled, and said coldly, Listen, cowardly people, in this world, no one is more special than anyone else. If you are not strong, who will show you your cowardice? If you are not strong, you will live should be bullied. What a disappointment. Shaking his head heavily, Liu Lan stretched out his hand and pointed at the perfume snake. Go back to your own boat. I'm leaving. Exclamation mark. Hancock's psychology seemed to be caught by the door. That kind of discomfort. It's not the pain of being bullied or beaten by others Tilda. It's an uncomfortable feeling of being looked down upon but unable to refute. Yeah. Good Zows. If you are not strong, who will show your cowardice? The man in front of me can beat down long people without fear. And I? Don't I even have the courage to face the celestial dragons? She raised her head slowly, and said with mixed feelings in her heart. Can you tell me, what exactly do you want to do? Liu Olan curled her lips. Cowardly woman. It's okay to tell you. Listen. What I want to do is, live broadcast the execution of Dan Long people to the whole world. Click. A heart seems to be grabbed by Liu Olan, and then lifted up fiercely. Dust. Hancock was completely stunned. Broadcast the execution of Dan Long into the whole world. This. This must be based on having the courage to face the wrath of the world government and marine at the same time. God, in this world, is there really such a brave person? Chapter 180 for you women. How can you understand the meaning of the name Whitebeard? Please subscribe. Yes, the reason why Liu Olan keeps Charles Ross as a captive is that he intends to live broadcast the execution of the celestial dragons in front of the whole world. Don't you, Marine, want to have the bloodline of executing the One Piece live broadcast all over the world? Question mark. Don't you want to completely cut off the blood of evil? Then I will continue this world live broadcast at that time to let everyone understand one thing. Heavenly dragon nobles would rather have kindness. Even the celestial dragons who look like gods in people's eyes can be executed. Exclamation mark. When hearing what Liu Olan said, Hancock pondered for a moment, then shouted out. She pursed her red lips slightly, and asked slowly, You said you were going to live broadcast the execution of Dan Long people in front of the whole world. So where do you plan to execute it? Liu Olan said lightly, Naval Headquarters. Ah. Underscore W. When I heard Liu Olan mentioning this matter just now, Hancock had a guess in his heart, and now hearing Liu Olan confirming it personally, Hancock can no longer hold back. Not long ago, she had received a notice from Naval Headquarters that Marine was going to perform a public execution on Firefist Ace in Naval Headquarters in a week. As the Seven Warlords of the Sea, she was also ordered to gather at Naval Headquarters a week later to deal with a possible Whitebeard pirate group. 
But now, this guy in front of me keeps saying that he will carry out a public execution of the Celestial Dragons in Naval Headquarters. 967. Such an outrageous thing. If it was normal, Hancock would definitely laugh without hesitation. But facing Liu Olan at this time, Hancock looked at those firm eyes like stars, but she couldn't raise any doubts. There is a feeling somewhere, this man in front of me will really do what he says. But what I don't understand is, why do you dare to say such arrogant words? That is naval headquarters. It is very difficult to get close, Sengoku and Marine will not just watch you take the Draconians there and execute them in front of them. Although Hancock vaguely feels that the man in front of him is very determined, but the problem facing the reality is very real. Liu Lan smiled, I believe you have also received the notice from naval headquarters. A week later, naval headquarters Jiang Huya and the Whitebeard Pirates will change to a full-scale battle and my partners and I will appear on the scene at that time. Hearing this, Hancock frowned slightly, how can you be sure that the Whitebeard pirates will dare to come? Ha ha ha. Hearing Hancock's question, Liu Olan burst out laughing. Hancock frowned, what are you laughing at? Ace, I just said, you are a cowardly woman. Liu Olan shook his head slightly, then walked towards the edge of the railing, looking at the beautiful scenery of Nine Snake Island. How can a cowardly woman understand the courage of the strongest man in the world? Shut up. Don't humiliate the Empress. Snake Princess dignity is up to us to protect. If you dare to be disrespectful to your elder sister, we will fight you. The female fighters of the Nine Snake Pirates looked at Liu Olan with righteous indignation, as if they wanted to strip him alive tilde. It's not insulting at all, I'm just stating a fact. You women. How can you understand what the name Whitebeard stands for? Speaking of this, Liu Olan turned his head to look at Hancock. Whitebeard will go in a week. And my partners and I will also bring the Tan Longer into that execution ground. Do you have to go? Listening to Liu Olan's decisive words, Hancock's heart skipped a beat. He obviously doesn't know Whitebeard well. Does he trust Whitebeard that much? Wrong. Dot. He, like Whitebeard, is crazy. Thinking of this, Hancock murmured in his heart, Since you have already decided to go, why do you still come to me? What do you want to talk to me? Because I don't want to waste too much energy on getting close to naval headquarters. So, if you want, you can help me and my partners easily enter naval headquarters. In this way, we can put all our energy into fighting Marine. Liu Olan explained. Of course, the most important thing is, if they mix in with Hancock, Marine's main attention will be on the Whitebeard pirates. But at this moment, Hancock shook his head, then your wishful thinking has been miscalculated. This time, this king has no plan to go to naval headquarters at all. No. You will go. Liu Olan didn't argue, and said in a positive tone. Question mark. Hancock frowned. Hancock was very displeased with Liu Olan's attitude of controlling everything. She sneered, it's a joke. Can this king not know whether he will go or not? Liu Olan said resolutely, if you don't go, Marine will threaten you with the lives of the female warriors on Nine Snake Island, so you have to go. 11. Look at Cook's speechless Tilda. She only needs to think a little bit, and she can figure out that things will definitely develop as Liu Olan said. At that time, she still has to go Tilda. After thinking for a while, Hancock said in a deep voice, but even if I go, I will definitely go by myself. You and your partners are so numerous, there is no way for me to bring you in. It's not a big problem. Liu Lan smiled, and then flipped his palms, communicating the magic power of the small cards of Klau. I saw that the huge Going Merry pirate ship turned into a very miniature boat at this moment. Liu Lan held Going Merry in his hand, then looked at Hancock. Now, is it all right? Are this? The eyes of everyone in the Nine Snake Pirates suddenly widened. Oh my god. Is this Devil Fruit's ability? You can actually make a pirate ship so miniature. If it is used to launch a surprise attack, it is impossible to defend against. It's actually possible to do this. Hancock opened his mouth, then asked again, What about you? Liu Lan replied, I can also become smaller. At that time, I will take the pirate ship, you put me in your pocket and bring me into naval headquarters, and then find a corner and throw me there. If that's the case, then I will agree to your request. Although he was spanked by Liu Olan just now, when he thought of what Liu Olan was about to do, Hancock immediately didn't care. He planned to become an enemy of the world, but I just got spanked in the ass, so why bother? Okay, it seems that you are not completely cowardly. Nodding his head, Liu Olan then said, I will dock the boat to the forest side of Nine Snake Island, and I will come to you again when naval headquarters recruits you. As he said that, Liu Olan stepped on his feet. A. Eh? Holding the going merry? He instantly soared into the air and disappeared in front of everyone's eyes. Chapter 185 My dad is Whitebeard. Please subscribe. Time flies, and a week has passed. Golden Mary. In the comic studio, Liu Lan checked the system mail. Question mark your manga fan Monkey D. Luffy has improved his world strength in the manga, Zantong, and the development of Rubber Fruit has reached level 5. You simultaneously obtain the 5 level ability of its Rubber Fruit. You get points plus 10. Your fan Kebi has improved his world strength in the comic, My Wife Shania Biography and learn the breath of thunder, four types, and speed.
Thunder, you simultaneously gain its thunder breathing ability. You get points plus six. Question mark your manga fan Nami conquered the wind card in the world of manga? Card Kaptisura, you get the wind card ability simultaneously. You get points plus five. Question mark your manga Roronoa or has improved his world power in the manga? Zaraki Kanpaki biography? And completed Bankai with Doishi text. You get points plus ten. Question mark your manga fan Usopp has cultivated the ability of the god killing star Shikai Black Coffin Star in the world of the manga? Essay of the two houses, you simultaneously get the god killing star Shikai ability Black Coffin Star. You get points plus eight. Question mark your fan Sanji cultivated the seventh floor of eight inner gates in the comic book? Guy Emperor Biography? And successfully opened the seventh gate. You simultaneously acquire the seventh door to door ability. You get points plus tilde seven. Your fan Nico Robin has improved his world power in the comic. Use Yumaki Naruto biography. And practiced A level ninjutsu raising gun. You get A level ninjutsu raising gun at the same time. You get points plus four. Question mark. Your manga fan Nico Robin has improved his world power in the comic. Use Yumaki Naruto biography. And practiced A level ninjutsu wind blade. And you simultaneously obtained a level ninjutsu wind blade. The picture gets get points plus four question mark. Your manga fan chopper developed the enchantress blue ice blue ball in the world of the manga Xiao Guking and the twelve beasts. You simultaneously acquire the ability of the enchantress blue ice blue wave ball. You earn points plus thirty one. Your comic fan Frankie has improved his world strength in the comic Geno's biography, and he has cultivated an incinerator. You get the incinerator simultaneously. You get plus four points question mark. Your fan Brook has improved his strength in the world of the comic Ghost Rider? And practice the chain technique. You gain chain spell simultaneously. You get plus five points. Question mark. Your fan Kai has improved his strength in the world of the comic Medical Ninjutsu? And practiced healing jutsu. You get healing jutsu simultaneously. You get plus one points. Question mark. Your manga Kai has improved his strength in the world of the manga Medical Ninjutsu and cultivated the technique simultaneously. You will be able to extract the technique. You get points plus melon. Good guy Tilda. Just as Liu Olan expected, the harvest this time is quite rich. After accumulating system emails for a week, almost everyone has improved a lot. Luffy's rubber fruit ability finally hits fifth gear before summit war. Don't underestimate this little progress Tilda. There is a world of difference between the Luffy in fifth gear and the Luffy before fifth gear. Zora's Wadeki text completed Bankai Tilda. In this regard, Liu Olan can't see anything. Only this Zanpei Kuto. Rogong cannot share the calendar. In addition Tilda, this time, Kai also practiced medical ninjutsu by watching manga. She, who is not good at fighting, finally has a place to use her skills. Hydra Island, the port of the In River Channel. Liu Lan came here with going merry in hand. On the deck of the perfume snake, Hancock has been waiting here for a long time. Looking at the figure of Liu Lan falling on the deck, Hancock looked arrogant. I thought you were going to release pigeons. Ignoring this sentence, Liu Lan looked around and said, has Marine's warship come yet? Seeing that Liu Olan still had no intention of licking her, Hancock curled his lips. I have called just now, and it should arrive soon. Now you can get smaller. Good. Liu Olan put the going merry into his pocket, and then communicated the magic power of the small card. His figure quickly became the size of a palm. Liu Olan jumped lightly and landed in Hancock's flat palm. Ini Sama, a warship is coming. At this moment, Sanderson ear suddenly pointed to the sea level in the distance and said, These bastards, seeing the warship, Hancock gritted his teeth. Just three days ago, the Marine warship came. As Liu Olan expected, when Hancock refused, Marine Flying Squirrel Vice Admiral directly moved out the name of Buster Call and threatened to blow up Nine Snake Island. Hancock had to compromise. All right. Didn't you tell me that I have to go? Then I will bring you a big surprise. Glancing at Liu Olan in his hand, Hancock murmured, and then stuffed Liu Olan directly into Xunku's clothes. Um, Liu Olan only felt refreshing for a while and was immediately stunned. F.K. Where's the pocket? Then he suddenly realized that Hancock is wearing a chung sam dot 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 she has no pockets. Worry Tilda. This buoyancy is quite sudden Tilda. When the warship approached, Vice Admiral, the flying squirrel, stood in front of the deck and said in a deep voice, let's go. Hancock stepped onto the bridge with slender legs. With every step she took, the marine soldiers on the deck all grinned at the corners of their mouths Tilda. Leo Lan looked at the situation outside from the seam of his clothes and couldn't help but find it interesting Tilda. It is the first time to see the world from here. After the warship arrived at naval headquarters, Hancock, one of the seven warlords of the sea, was arranged to live alone. However, because of the state of combat readiness, Hancock's residence is not big, just a separate dormitory for female officers. Because of the second day of Ace's execution, Liu Lan had to hide in Hancock's clothes and rest for the night. On the second day, Hancock, led by a marine female soldier, joined the four remaining seven warlords of the sea, and then came to the battle platform of naval headquarters. 
Why four people? Clock Dal is in jail. Jin Bai was also imprisoned in the deep sea prison because he was unwhilling to fight against White Beard. Then there's Gecko Moria, who got punched by Luffy not long ago, and Marine lost contact with him. And now, seven warlords of the sea is down to four people. Hawkeye Mihook, Clown Do Flamingo, Tyrant Bartholomew Kima, Empress Hancock. When the four of them came to the battle platform, Do Flamingo walked with unrecognizable steps, shaking his head and looking around. But when his eyes swept over the execution platform, he staggered and almost fell to the ground. Foo fur fur fur. -fur. Isn't it? What kind of shape is this tilde? He looked at Ace on the execution platform and couldn't stop laughing. Hawkeye followed Do Flamingo's gaze and suddenly three black lines appeared on his forehead tilde. Bartholomew Kima didn't turn his head, like a war machine without any emotion. Hancock looked up, and immediately sprayed. She was surprised, what is this doing tilde? On the execution platform as far as they could see, Ace was ready to be charged here at this time. But the problem is, normally, the prisoner should be escorted to kneel on the execution platform to be willing. But at this time, Ace was sitting in an open sedan chair. Two marine soldiers were carrying the sedan chair walking back and forth non-stop. Ace in the sedan chair is locked by sea stone shackles, with a look of lovelessness Tilda. Liu Olan looked out of Hancock's heart, saw Ace's scene, and was speechless. Others didn't know what was going on, but Liu Olan guessed it all at once. The sedan chair is a means of transportation, used to limit the magic of the fire dragon. Zero seeking flowers, and sea stone is limited to mera mera fruit. If the two are combined, Ace's ability will be completely blocked. Looking at it this way, the motion sickness and seasickness effect of Dragon Slayer magic does exist. Liu Olan secretly analyzed in his heart. When the seven warlords of the sea arrived at the designated location, another Marine soldier moved three chairs directly under the execution platform. Soon, Marine Three Admiral came from the island sat on three chairs respectively. These bastards, don't even talk about getting us some chairs, fur fur fur. Do Flamingo rubbed his chin, dissatisfied in his tone. My king doesn't need it. Under Hancock's body, the boa constrictor Salem coiled up into a lump which happened to serve as a chair for Hancock. Ah oh, what a convenient little pet tilde. Do Flamingo curled his lips, then moved his fingers. I saw a marine soldier walking past him, as if being led by a string, and walked back backwards. He walked behind Do Flamingo with a terrified expression and lay down on the ground. This chair is nice tilde. Fur 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 fur. Do Flamingo sat on the marine soldier's back. At this moment, on the scaffold above, Sengoku stepped out, holding a radio phone bug. He announced loudly, this matter is to be announced to everyone. It is related to the great significance of Porgas Dias's death penalty today. Um? Question mark. Hearing Sengoku suddenly and inexplicably said such a sentence, everyone was a little confused. Those who were watching the live broadcast in front of the big screens of various island news agencies were even more stunned. What's the situation? Firefist Ace was executed, isn't it because he is the second team captain of the Whitebeard Pirates? Yeah, what's the big deal? Does his death piss off Whitebeard? Are you guys stupid? Can't you just listen to Sengoku go on? I just said that this matter is definitely not as simple as it seems. The execution of Ace in naval headquarters, and a live broadcast around the world, there must be articles here. Sengoku's words immediately ignited the interest of all the people who eat melons. Ace, say your father's name. Sengoku's voice spread throughout Marinford through the broadcast system, and spread throughout the live broadcast venues on various islands. Father? Question mark. When is this, and you still ask this? Even the marine soldiers who were at the scene in Marinford couldn't help complaining. But Ace didn't seem to think there was anything wrong with this question. And he answered directly, my daddy is white beard, wrong. Sengoku interrupted Ace immediately, but Ace suddenly changed his face, realized something, and was furious. That's right, exclamation mark my daddy can only be white beard. However, Sengoku continued on his own, according to the negligible information collected by CP9 and the little possibility, we finally found out your real identity, exclamation mark. In South Blue, there is an island called Baterilla. There. A woman named Porgas de Lugia gave birth to you. One year and three months after your father's death, the child who inherited the world's most evil blood was born. That is you. It's impossible for you not to know. Dot 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 your father. Speaking of this, Sengoku's face suddenly became extremely angry, and he shouted hoarsely at the radio phone bug. It's the One Piece King Gordy Roger. 11, Chapter 186 Whitebeard appears. Please subscribe. What? Dash. When Sengoku called out the man's name, the whole world froze for a moment. The captain of the second team of the Whitebeard Pirates turned out to be the son of Goldie Roger? Question mark. Anyone who utters such outrageous words will be laughed at as a fool. But Pian Pian who said this is the Marshal of Naval Headquarters. Then it must be true. It turned out to be Roger's son. That man's son is still alive. This is really big news. Has his biological son survived? That's a miracle. WWW. Whether it's the people at Naval Headquarters, or the Melon Eaters in front of the big screens, their brains are buzzing at this time tilde. Sengoku continued about two years ago. When we sailed across the sea as the captain of the Spades Pirates, 
we realize that Roger's bloodline has not been cut off. However, Whitebeard, who discovered this at the same time as us, did not hesitate to bring the son of his former opponent, 247, to his ship in order to train you to become the next generation of One Piece. Hearing this, Ace immediately retorted angrily, that's not right. I boarded the Moby Dick just to make Dad the Pirate King. I'm afraid you're the only one who thinks so. In fact, the reason why we haven't dared to act rashly is because Whitebeard protects you. But if you always let yourself go, your aptitude will eventually help you stand at the pinnacle of the next era of pirates. So, taking your head here today means a lot. Even if it turns into an all-out war with the Whitebeard pirates, Sengoku's statement sets the tone for the situation at hand. That is, today you ace must die. Marshall, report something. Below the execution platform, a marine officer saluted Sengoku. The door of justice was opened without anyone's order, and the power room can't be contacted. What? Sengoku frowned, showing a bad look. Directly above the sea, the huge steel gate slowly separated to both sides under the force of the tide. When the two doors were completely opened, densely packed pirate warships quietly appeared on the sea surface. It's the large fleet of the Whitebeard pirates. Immediately, the radio and telephone bugs fill the air and the communications soldier exclaimed in surprise. A reminder was also issued to marines throughout naval headquarters. Range United Uma. Looking make a guy. Brother Deke Calban. Great Eddie Spider Skewed. These well-known titles are all the captains who shake the world in New World. Whereas Whitebeard? Quickly check the location. A total of 43 large pirate ships. Only Whitebeard and the captains are missing. Damn. Where did they come from? Sengoku's face changed slightly, and he frowned and ordered loudly. All marines, enter the battle state. Marshal is an attack to be launched? The orderly asked nervously. Sengoku shook his head sternly, wait a minute. Whitebeard must be nearby. He must have something to do, keep a close watch on the sea for me. Foo fur fur. So much fun. Doflamingo looked ahead excitedly and grinned, I can't hold back. Come on, Whitebeard. If it was normal, even if Doflamingo was killed, he would not dare to say such arrogant words tilde. But today is different. With the entire naval headquarters in the background, Doflamingo is ready to witness the fall of the four emperors. Gulilulu Tilda. At this moment, in the crescent harbor of naval headquarters, a large number of bubbles suddenly surged on the water surface. Um, under the high platform, Marine and Admiral's eyes narrowed almost at the same time, and they cast their eyes on the water surface in the bay. It really came out of an unexpected place. Garp raised his brows and looked at the water in surprise. Shadows appear beneath the surface of the water in the bay. It turns out that it is like this. All their ships are coated with film. Just as Marine was exclaiming, he directly smashed open with sea water. Wow, a huge pirate ship shaped like a white whale rushed out from under the sea tilde. It's appeared. It's the flagship of the Whitebeard Pirates, Moby Dick. Immediately afterwards, on the sea surface around the Moby Dick, the sea broke through again, and three other frigates broke through the water. These three frigates have almost the same shape as the Moby Dick, only a few circles smaller. On the whale's mouth on the bow of the Moby Dick, Whitebeard stands there like an Optimus Prime, holding the big knife Kong Yankee in one hand. The corner of his mouth slightly raised a confident arc, and he looked at Sengoku. Gulilulu, Sengoku, I haven't seen you in decades. Afterwards, Whitebeard looked at Ace on the execution platform, and was taken aback. What shape is this? Fortunately, Whitebeard has practiced before, so he couldn't hold back his laughter. He said in a deep voice, My beloved son, are you okay Tilda? Dad, even though Ace felt sick from being shaken by the sedan chair, he still yelled hysterically the moment he saw Whitebeard. Ace, just be patient for a while. Looking at the pale ace, Whitebeard put the Kong Yankee in his hand on the ground, and then clenched his hands into fists. He bent down slightly, crossed his arms in front of him, and then swung to the sides suddenly. Crack crack. I saw that in the atmosphere, cracks suddenly appeared one after another, like spider webs, densely covered out of thin air. What? The atmosphere is cracked? Question mark. Hey hey hey. What's the matter with that explosion sound? It's not good. The movement of the sea is not right Tilda, rumble Tilda. As Whitebeard swung his fists down, the sea surface on the left and right sides of naval headquarters seemed to be a prehistoric beast suddenly awakened, and the terrifying sea water instantly rose and bulged upwards. A seawater bulge like two small hills was formed, and this bulge keeps going up. Just watched the scene, Ace was heartbroken. He yelled hoarsely, Dad, everyone. Obviously I ignored everyone's advice and ran out by myself. It was my own actions that brought me to this end. Dot, dot, dot. Why don't you let me fend for myself? Seeing so many comrades marching to naval headquarters for rescue, Ace's heart is touched and warm. But he is not a fool. He knows that so many partners here today, a large part will die in this sea forever. If possible, he would never want to see these people die to save him. Wrong. But at this moment, Whitebeard said calmly, Son, you didn't act on your own. That's why I told you to go. Ace yelled. Don't lie. You were trying to stop me. No, I told you to go. Whitebeard's voice was still calm. He turned his head to look at Marco beside him, and asked, I remember right, 
Marco, oh yes, I heard that too. Marco clasped his arms and raised the corner of his mouth lightly, looking at Ace. Ace, you have suffered a lot Tilda. He went on to say, everyone in this sea knows what will happen to our partners. No one who hurt you will live. Ace, 5.0 you wait, we will save you by ourselves. Brother Ace, we are here, we will definitely take you away. Naval headquarters, die, dash. A series of sonorous and powerful voices came from the Moby Dick. That's the manifesto of the Whitebeard Pirates. That's a manifesto to fight for the family. At this moment, Leo Lan, who was in Hancock's heart, looked at this scene, and suddenly the pores of his whole body opened up, and his blood boiled. This kind of Whitebeard's arrogance that I personally felt when I was on the scene. And Haki from the strongest four emperors team. That's something you can't feel just by watching manga and anime. Boom. The tsunami on both sides soared into the sky, forming two seawater canopies, which crashed down towards Marinford. Oh, here we go. Chapter 187 Sengoku. Gup, that is your wonderful grandson. Exclamation mark please subscribe. It's a tsunami. What kind of power is this? What a legendary monster. Fur fur fur. Ugh, it's over. The entire naval headquarters was shocked in the face of this force of nature, which is almost irresistible to human beings! Exclamation mark. Sengoku suddenly shouted, Trouble Tilda, rubbing his head, Okiji drove away the lazy expression on his face, then he stepped on his feet and appeared in the sky instantly, his hands pointed towards the tsunami on both sides, I sage, the biting cold air spewed out towards both sides crazily, as if they didn't want money, ka 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 ka, accompanied by a clear and audible freezing sound, the monstrous tsunami suddenly stopped and turned into two icebergs towering high in the sky. Aokiji, you boy. The corners of his mouth grinned slightly, and Whitebeard showed his displeasure, although he also knew that naval headquarters could not be wiped out at once, but he was still very upset to see the tsunami frozen. Frozen Spear of Two Thorns The moment he fell from the sky, Aokiji condensed two frozen spears out of thin air and shot at Whitebeard! Exclamation mark. Whitebeard punched in the air and shattered the atmosphere with a bang. Even the two frozen spears that hadn't flown to the front were shattered together. The boat is frozen. The bay is also full of ice. Hey, hey, O8 oh seems to have a foothold now. Ha ha ha, come on. Seeing the situation in the harbor, the pirates immediately jumped off the deck one by one and rushed forward. Quick, destroy the Moby Dick. The captains are showing up too. Don't stop the shelling. One order after another was issued continuously, and the marine side also responded with war materials. The two sides will soon hand over troops, candling, below the high platform. Hawkeye Mahook drew out the black sword, Yaya behind him, foo fur fur. What, are you going to do it? Feeling the leak of Haki from the man beside him, Doflamingo smiled arrogantly, but in fact he still loves him very much in his heart. I just want to measure the real gap between the man who is close at hand and us. The moment the voice fell, Hidao Yazuro swished out, boom, a shocking sword energy is like a long song breaking the waves. The moment it appeared. The surrounding air and ground exploded instantly. Whoosh, the sword energy is like a flying shadow that kills people, and it flew out of the air in an instant. Wherever it passes along the way, all ice surfaces will explode. But just when this sword energy was about to approach Whitebeard, a burly figure suddenly jumped down. It's the captain of the third squad Diamond Jaws. In front of the big screen, someone exclaimed. After all, for many ordinary people, they don't necessarily know these celebrities. At this time, some well-informed people exclaimed from time to time allowing these people who eat melons to understand the scene. Jaws landed on the ice, his whole body shining with a luster of diamonds. At the same time, the armed color dew covered the surface of the diamond. Double defense, boom, the sword energy hit him in an instant, setting off a shocking explosion. At the moment the first explosion exploded, two terrible bangs erupted immediately afterwards. Originally there was only one sword chi, but when it hit Kiyozi, it turned into three inexplicably. Jaws blocked one, but failed to resolve the other two. With a bang, his burly figure was sent flying, and then fell heavily on the deck of the Moby Dick, Jaws. The two captains hurried up to check Jaws's injuries. What the hell? In Hancock's arms, Liu Olan watched this scene with a dazed expression. Didn't you agree that Jaws would block Hawkeye's slash? What happened? Oh. Dash. Doflamingo on the side opened his mouth wide and exclaimed, as expected of you. The captain of the third division of the Whitebeard Pirates can't even block your slash across half of the bay. Too strong. One must know that the farther the slash travels, the more its power will dissipate. It is an extremely exaggerated phenomenon in itself to slash the sword energy so far away like a Hawkeye. Because for ordinary great swordsmen, their sword chi slashing waves simply cannot fly such a long distance. But Hawkeye's sword slashing wave not only flies so far, but also has such terrifying power tilde. I'm ashamed dot 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 that blow just now. I used someone else's swordsmanship tilde. Shaking his head slightly, there was an incomprehensible light in his eagle eyes. And at this time, in the sky, suddenly golden light filled the sky. A large amount of golden light condensed directly above the Moby Dick. A human figure appeared in the golden light. It was Marine Admiral Kizaru. I saw Kizaru made a gesture with both hands, 
and a lot of golden light condensed on it. Eight foot Kyangguru, with Kizaru swaying his hands, golden beams of light rained down. Yell. On the deck of the Moby Dick, a blue flame soared into the sky, facing the laser beam directly. It turned into a flame round shield made of blue flames. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. When those laser beams hit the blue flame round shield, they disappeared like mud cows entering the sea Tilda. I can't let you hit our king all at once Tilda. Among the blue flames, Marco's figure appeared. Oh. It's so scary. Whitebeard Pirates Tilda. Kizaru also appeared in the golden light, showing a beating expression. Below Tilda. The pirates are aggressively attacking, and the marines are also fully engaged. Hancock, the seven warlords of the sea, finally met the enemy. Hancock, just throw us on the battlefield. Liu Olan shouted in Hancock's heart. Shall we start? Hearing this, Hancock couldn't help but feel his heart skip a beat. Killing the celestial dragons live. Once this kind of drama starts dot 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 everything that happened today will be eclipsed. Immediately, she reached into her arms and grabbed Liu Olan. Perfume femur. When Hancock smashed a pirate with one blow, he instantly threw Liu Ogang out. The moment Liu Olan fell to the ground, Liu Olan immediately returned to its original size. He quickly found a late position, and then removed the magic of the Locard on Going Merry. After all, he didn't want the Golden Merry to be harmed in this battle. Wow Tilda. Going Merry turned into a normal size. What's going on? Another pirate ship has appeared. The marine conductor on the scene suddenly exclaimed. Ah, hello. What happened to that pirate ship? Why did it appear suddenly? It seems to have appeared out of thin air. Is it a helper invited by the Whitebeard Pirates? The people who were eating melons in front of the big screen were all stunned. However, when Ace saw the pirate flag of this pirate ship, the whole person was dumbfounded. He saw at a glance that this pirate flag was officially the pirate flag of his younger brother's pirate group. Are you even here? It not only hurts dad and the others, but also hurts you. I'm such a useless big brother. Tears of regret overflowed from the eyes. Father, there seems to be something wrong. On the deck of the Moby Dick, Vista said calmly. The white 740 beard smiled. You la 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 la, don't worry about them. Beast wondered, don't worry about it. Are you still not sure if they are friends or foes? Whitebeard laughed again. Certainly not the enemy. Otherwise, they wouldn't have appeared in this way. And this time, a voice suddenly jumped to the top of Going Merry's mast. He is wearing a small vest, shorts, and big slippers. He also wears a straw hat on top of his head. Puff. In front of the big screen, the supernovas who are watching this scene all spray their old gags. FK. Isn't this the most expensive guy in this supernova? Question mark. Why are we both supernovas? We can only watch the live broadcast here, while others appear in the live broadcast. Question mark. That's naval headquarters. That's total war on marine and whitebeard pirates. What a bunch of lunatics. Exclamation mark. On the mast, Luffy clenched his fists and shouted to the sky, I'm here to save you. The sound is like thunder in the clear sky. Instantly caused the entire naval headquarters to stagnate for a short time. Luffy. W. Ace burst into tears and roared loudly. He knew that what he said at this time was useless. The only thing he could do was to cry out for his incompetence. Tilda. Pole. When seeing this face clearly. Sengoku was furious. He turned his head, looked at Garp under the execution platform, and said angrily, Bastard Garp, that's your good grandson. Garp's old face is flushed Tilda. Scratch your ears and scratch your cheeks Tilda. Didn't hear Tilda, didn't hear Tilda. Chapter 188 Ace. Luffy, Dad, come and save me. Please subscribe. That kid is Ace's younger brother. Looking at the situation in front of him, Marco immediately guessed Luffy's identity. I heard from Ace before that he has a younger brother. In this situation, who else but his brother would rush to naval headquarters to save Ace? The kid wearing the straw hat, he is right. Foil Vista also analyzed. I didn't expect that Ace's younger brother is so brave. Sure enough, with such a big brother, how could my brother be an ordinary person? The two brothers really have the same energy. The members of the Whitebeard Pirates shouted excitedly. Gula la la la. Whitebeard smiled happily too. Garp, look what you've done. Sengoku looked at Garp and shouted angrily. Garp pretended not to hear Tilda. What did I do? I have worked very hard to train him into a marine, but he wants to be a pirate himself. Can he rely on me Tilda? Hey hey hey. Here are some amazing guys Tilda. Okiji patted his head, and the expression on his face was a bit uncomfortable. Having fought against the Straw Hat Pirates on Long Island before. Okiji knows that these people are not just cats and dogs. Many people failed to show their real strength that day. But even so, Robin defeated him, the Marine Admiral, in name. Wu Tilda, yes. Kizaru's eyes widened, and he frowned as he watched the figures constantly appearing on the deck of Going Merry. The Sabadi Archipelago battle, he still remembers Liu Olan and Zora. That's an existence that even Marine Admiral can't do anything about him. What are you two doing? It's just a group of young pirates who just went out to sea. What are you talking about, you guys? What nonsense are you talking about? Hearing the exclamation words of Okiji and Kizaru, Seikazuki frowned suddenly, his face was full of disdain. Not to mention that he has never fought against the Straw Hat Pirates, even if he had, he would not be afraid of pirates. Ace, 
I'm here to save you. Luffy yelled, jumped off the mast with a whoosh, and headed straight for the execution platform. Stop him. Never let him near the execution platform. Marine Vice Admiral Dorbman snorted coldly, pointed at the long knife in his hand, and then rushed forward first. Wind slash. Holding a sharp long knife in his hand, with a black armament haki covering the blade, Dorbman took a step forward and slashed horizontally. Backed me to save Ace. Facing Dorbman slash, Luffy not only did not avoid it, but threw a punch in front of it. The moment the fist goes out, it is like a treasure that has left the dimensional bag, and it is magnified dozens of times in an instant. Rubber assault trino cannon. Under Luffy's sprint, the strength of this punch is above the fourth gear. And with the high level armament haki entanglement, the power of this punch is far more terrifying than the fourth gear. Under the lock of the advanced observation haki, Daobo Hao's attack trajectory was clearly seen by Luffy. Boom. Accompanied by a huge roar, the huge good name Berman Vice Admiral didn't even have time to see what happened. He seemed to be hit by a speeding train, and flew back with a bang. Boom. Below the execution platform, the reinforced concrete battle platform was smashed out of a human-shaped crater in an instant. What? One punch. That's Dorbum and Vice Admiral. Even among Vice Admirals, the strength of Dorbum and Vice Admirals definitely belongs to the above wave. Are you kidding? Is this guy so strong? Wu Tilda, I really have no dog in the door Tilda. Kizaru's eyes were filled with surprise, and he shook his head. Damn. Is that guy Garp's grandson? Isn't that the son of a dragon? Seikazuki's A's glowed blue, and he was furious. It's just right. Today I want to get rid of this evil bloodline. Aokiji, who was not far away, opened his mouth when he heard this. Finally, he didn't say anything. Say buddy Archipelago Tilda. Is that the number one supernova of this session? It's too strong. Wow. One punch out of veteran vice admiral. Who else? Question mark. What an exaggeration. As a supernova, why do I feel that his strength is not on the same level as mine? With such a strong supernova joining the battle, this is a good show. The Melanitas were all shocked by Luffy's strength. Partners of the Straw Hat Pirates, escort the captain. Liu Olan appeared at the front of the deck, stepped on the railing with one foot, and pointed forward with his hand, quite a kind of high-spirited and high-spirited pointing country. Liu Olan, are you guys here too? Ace gritted his teeth. Feeling deeply powerless Tilda originally thought that Luffy's appearance was only due to his own willfulness, but I didn't expect the entire Straw Hat Pirates to come. This cohesion. For the first time, Ace has expectations for his younger brother to become the One Piece Tilda. Ace, long time no see. Liu Olan shouted loudly. Liu Olan, I am ashamed to ask you to take care of my idiot brother. Now I have to involve you to save me. I am really sorry. Even though he felt dizzy and nauseous after being called in the sedan chair. Ace still forcibly knocked his head on the floor of the sedan chair at this time. He is ashamed to have involved so many people. If you are cowardly, wait until you are saved. Now, Ace, cheer me up. The people who can appear here today are all saved by Xia Erwai desperately. Your guys, don't let what they have done to you be in vain. As he said that, Liu Olan jumped forward and jumped to the battlefield. Don't let what Luffy did to me in vain. Hearing this, Ace was startled suddenly. Yes, Luffy they're all here. If I am still undecided at this time, then what qualifications do I have to be worth what they pay? I get it. I won't be indecisive anymore. Ace straightened his back and shouted, Luffy, Daddy. I won't be lost anymore. Come and save me. Gula la la la. Beg. Hearing Ace's yell, Whitebeard grinned happily. That's the way it is. If even you, Ace, can't be determined to survive, then don't those of us who came to save you look like idiots? Watching Ace's transformation, Whitebeard subconsciously cast his eyes on Liu Olan's back. What an amazing kid. Immediately, Whitebeard pointed his long knife and ordered, Whitebeard pirates obey orders. Protect Ace's younger brother with all your strength. Chapter 189 Decide the challenge of the world's number one swordsman. Exclamation mark please subscribe. Wu Tilda, straw hat boy. I can't let you pass. Kizaru's figure appeared in front of Luffy. Blocking Luffy's way. It's Kizaru Admiral. Seeing Kizaru appear, all marine soldiers shouted excitedly. Kizaru raised his right foot and aimed it in the direction Luffy was running from. A golden ball of light condenses and forms at the bottom of Kizaru's feet. It seems that the energy of the shaped cannon has accumulated to a critical level, and then it is released suddenly. It was an extremely thick golden beam. For a moment, it was as if the sun in the sky fell into the ground tilde. The people around were all stabbed so hard that they couldn't open their eyes. The next moment, the golden laser bombarded Luffy. Wu Tilda. Now you have to retreat Tilda. Luffy smug on Kizaru's face. The other party is Garp's grandson after all, and as Marine Admiral, Kizaru doesn't want to make a fuss. So it's enough to stop it symbolically, and act hard in front of Sengoku Tilda. As for the kind of thing that can't be done, let's leave it to Seikazuki's steel head. But just when he thought his laser cannon would push Luffy back, the laser cannon exploded less than three meters away from him. There, there is an invisible barrier forming an absolute block. Damn, it's that guy. Although Kizaru couldn't see the invisible barrier, 
He immediately guessed what it was Tilda. When he was in the Seibadi archipelago before, Liu Olan used this invisible barrier to block his eight-foot Kyungu. And now it's showing up again. Sure enough, as Kizaru expected, Liu Olan's figure descended from the sky. Hey, Kuang Lei Oyuan, the previous battle in Seibadi archipelago is not over yet. Don't interfere with our captain. Liu Olan stood in front of Kizaru and motioned for Luffy to pass quickly. Without any nonsense, Luffy rushed past Kizaru with firm eyes. Kizaru thought about it but still didn't make a move to stop Luffy. After all, the man in front of me is even more evil Tilda. What did you do to Charles Ross? Thinking of the good deeds Liu Olan has done, he is far from angry. Because of this incident, all his bonuses for half a year were deducted. Relax 980, he is still alive, and, you will see him later. The corners of Liu Olan's mouth twitched slightly, and he said with a smile. Brought here? Kizaru vaguely felt a bad premonition Tilda. It's just that there is no evidence to support this premonition so Kizaru can only stop thinking about it. If you beat me, I will give it back to you Tilda. Liu Olan said provocatively. Wu Tilda, how arrogant. Hearing this, Kizaru's figure instantly disappeared in place. Almost at the same time, he appeared behind Liu Olan. Taste the taste of being hit by the speed of light. With the sound of Kizaru's voice, a golden kick kicked Liu Olan fiercely. Whoosh! One kick fell, and the ape didn't hit any real feeling Tilda. Nanny. What time? There was a look of astonishment on his face. Kizaru opened his mouth slightly, and suddenly felt a little bad. Before the battle between Liu Olan and Seibadi Archipelago, Liu Olan basically used Charles Ross as a shield, and the whole fighting style was wretched Tilda. But Kizaru never imagined that Liu Olan could dodge his light speed kick. This Nima, is it normal? Question mark. Don't underestimate me. My speed is not slower than the speed of light Tilda. Liu Olan's voice suddenly appeared behind Kizaru. Um, Kizaru's heart skipped a beat. FK, it was supposed to be me stealing his buttocks, but how did he steal mine? Question mark. But Kizaru didn't have time to think about it at this time, and his observation Haki didn't have time to judge whether he could dodge. He used the safest method, defense. Kizaru instantly raised his right arm, and armament Haki was wrapped around it. Exclamation mark dash. The moment Kizaru's arm just raised to defend, Liu Olan's kick has arrived. Countless days and nights of mango accumulation. Yes Liu Olan's defense and speed have reached unimaginable levels, even though he doesn't have those fancy skills now, just relying on his speed and defense. He is definitely at a level powerhouse in this world. Boom. Dash. With one foot down, Kizaru's figure is like a cannonball tilde. With a bang, a building in the distance was reduced to ruins. Oh. Underscore. FK. What did I see? Question mark. The co-captain of the Straw Hat Pirates kicked Kizaru away. Are you kidding me? Just now, the Straw Hat boy punched Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral away. It's already off the mark. Now their deputy head actually kicked Admiral away. What kind of monsters are these people? Say by the archipelago. The pirates who were watching this battle were all dumbfounded. Wow Tilda it seems that our helper is outrageous Tilda ha ha ha. Left. D Carl class big brother opened his mouth excitedly. Wow Tilda, it seems that our helper is too strong Tilda ha ha ha. Right. Brother D Carl followed suit and shouted excitedly. Father, that deputy captain seems to be no less powerful than our captain. Beside Whitebeard, Yazang commented seriously. Gula la la la. The boys of the Whitebeard pirates. We can't be compared by the younger generations. Show me your strength. Whitebeard waved Kong Yanki in his hand, and swept across with a knife. The marine soldiers in front of him flew away like pear blossoms in a rainstorm. Kizaru Admiral. Not far from where Kizaru fell, marine soldiers exclaimed. But before they were worried, they saw Kizaru popping up from the ruins, saying solemnly, Artillery unit, pay attention to the opponent's shoot tilde. Dot. The surrounding marine soldiers suddenly had black lines on their faces Tilda. Nima, what the hell is he trying to change the subject, so that we can forget how embarrassed he was when he was kicked away just now? And Luffy over the Tilda. As soon as he shot a group of marines away, he saw a black knife lying in front of him. Destiny, will the proud son of the next hero die here? Dot 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 or will he escape the black knife smoothly? The owner holding the black knife stared at Luffy coming in front of him with eyes as sharp as an eagle. That's the world's number one swordsman. It's really strong people appearing one after another. My heart is about to jump out. Is this summit war? It's scary. The straw hat boy is a rubber man, and he will be at a disadvantage against the great swordsman. Amidst the exclamation of the people, Luffy has already approached Hawkeye. The gaze like a sword glow burst out from the eagle's eyes, the black knife in his hand has not moved yet. But the soaring sword intent has already climbed. Where other people are there? it becomes a world of its own. Even the rampant Luffy had to stop, because his observation Haki strongly perceives. Ack, if he continues to rush forward without thinking, then the only thing waiting for him is injury. Damn, what a strong wind. Where did it come from? Idiot, that's not the wind. It's the aura created by Hawkeye's sword intent. It's outrageous. Just the sword intent is so scary. Protect yourself. Don't be hurt by sword energy. 
the marines and pirates who were relatively close to each other subconsciously scatter outside the range of Hawkeye's sword intent, no one dared to confront them head on. Don't stop me, I'm here to save Ace, not to duel with guys like you. Luffy clenched his fists tightly, staring firmly at Hawkeye with a pair of firm eyes. He hoped that the other party would get out of the way. If not, he can only fight one more time. Only in that way, it will slow down his pace of saving Ace. Just when he was about to do it, a voice that made him feel extremely at ease appeared. Luffy, leave this to me. When the voice fell, a figure with a green algae head appeared. There are three knives on the waist. Rora no Azura. When seeing this person, Hawkeye's eyes suddenly lit up. He glanced at Zora, and then showed affirmation. You have become stronger again. And you have become a lot. You have also become stronger, number one in the world. Zora pressed his palm on the hilt of the knife, and then pulled out the words of Hidao with a clang. The strongest. Come and fight me. Decide the battle of the world's number one swordsman. Seven dollars. Almost the moment Zora uttered these words. Hawkeye responded loudly with emotion. His OK accompanied by his sword intent instantly spread to the surroundings, attacking the entire battle platform of naval headquarters. Hey! What did I see? That young man actually challenged Hawkeye to become the number one swordsman in the world. It's true that a newborn calf is not afraid of tigers. As soon as he opened his mouth, he wanted the position of the world's number one swordsman. The strange thing is Hawkeye's attitude, right? Question mark. Have you ever seen Hawkeye accept someone's challenge with such enthusiasm? Ah! Yes! Hawkeye seems to be looking forward to it. Excited too. Is there anything special about this young swordsman? In front of the big screen of Saber the Archipelago, those pirates who are not bad in strength are also stunned at this time. It's hard to imagine that a young swordsman was taken so seriously by Hawkeye. But at this moment, a voice exclaimed, Ah, it's him. It's the guy who used to fight Hawkeye in East Blue. Damn it. I remembered it too. Hawkeye admitted that he had lost to move. This is the guy, Rora no Azura, a pirate hunter from East Blue, a combatant of the Straw Hat Pirates. No mistake, he is the existence of a weight that even Hawkeye admits defeat. Damn it, are these guys in the Straw Hat Pirates so strong? Question mark. The captain and the deputy captain are terrifyingly amazing. I didn't expect the number three in the team to be so strong. Exclamation mark. This sea, thieves, are they really a group of guys who just went out to sea? Terrible. Warehouse dash? Hawkeye raised his arm and held the hilt of Curatoya's knife behind his back. The next moment, the black knife he kang unsheathed. In an instant, the world changed color. It seems that the sea and the sky have turned into the color of Hydra. That man actually takes this battle so seriously. Feeling the soaring sword intent emanating from Hawkeye, Marine Vice Admiral Mo Mousaki immediately stopped attacking, and the whole group couldn't help looking at Hawkeye. This sword intent, it's too serious. Flying Squirrel Vice Admiral's eyes were slightly condensed and his mouth was shocked. Stoloberry Vice Admiral said in a deep voice, it's just a deal with that kid, is it really necessary? Doflamingo had a wild smile on his face, foo 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 foo, this guy is so good, I can't wait to see the strength of this green algae headed swordsman. Vista cut back several marine soldiers with a sword, and instead of continuing to move forward, he stopped, he murmured to himself, I'm really envious, this young man, has the right to make Hawkeye so, not only these people, but anyone with a knife in their hand, even those swordsmen in front of the big screens. In this sea, as long as you are a swordsman, you will challenge this man in front of you. And when he saw the man in front of him treat another swordsman with unprecedented attention, even the great swordsmen have a kind of jealousy. And at this time, Zora holds the word of Hedao in his hand. Unsheath slowly. Chapter 190 Q Ina. Let's go. Please subscribe. Zora holds the scabbard of Hedao Yakumanji in his left hand and lays it in front of him. Slowly pull out the blade with your right hand. The moment the blade was unsheathed, it seemed as if something had been liberated from the seal. A soul shaking momentum spread quietly. Between heaven and earth, there seems to be something that does not belong to this world. Floating tilde. As the blade is unsheathed more and more, the heart-shattering soul coercion can no longer be restrained. At first it was like the wind in March, it just made people feel the wind pressure tilde. But at this moment, the terrifying coercion swept across the entire Marinford battlefield in an instant like a sudden storm. Kakaka tilde, on the ground, on the ties. In front of this absolutely powerful sword intent, countless gaps appeared. The marine soldiers and pirates who were closer were directly swept away by this sword intent, like fallen leaves in the autumn wind, and they were all swept aside. Between heaven and earth, Two sword intents collided violently. Although the sword intent is invisible, at this time, no matter who it is, even those who don't know how to use swords, they can clearly feel the existence of the two sword intents. Oh my god, what kind of strength are the two of them? They didn't see anything, but they were so scary. They actually have different sword intents. Dot 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 the end of the way of the sword, I'm afraid it's just like this Tilda. Why are the two of them standing the motionless? Stupid, they are already fighting. The battle between the real great swordsmen is the way of the sword. On the battlefield, those great swordsmen are all crazy now. They completely forgot about the fight, 
and they all tacitly stop their attacks. They are greedy to feel these two top level sword intents. This is definitely a once in a lifetime feast. The entire sky, under the condensed momentum, gives people the feeling that half the night, half King Ming. In a corner of the battlefield, Tashigai looked at this scene with a pale face. I still remember that when I saw Zora in Alabaster, she once boasted that she wanted to take away the words of harmony in Zora's hand. But at that time, I couldn't fail to take away the knife, and was deeply reprimanded by Liu Olan Tilda. Now it seems. Dot. In the hands of this guy, Hideoi's words have already surpassed the scope of the big fast knife. It's really like what Liu Olan said Tilda. If the knife has wisdom, the knife will also choose its owner. Any knife wants to be famous in the world. Hideo unsheathed the words. But the other two knives on Zora's waist fell to the ground Tilda. Hawkeye frowned, and his eyes fell on the two knives on the ground. I shouldn't remember this kind of thing wrongly. You are a three sword style. That's right. Zora's eyes were determined. Then why? Eagle eyes fixed on the two knives on the ground. According to common sense, Zora should have bitten the knife in his mouth at this time, while the other two knives were in his hands. Zora replied calmly, when she appeared. Every time I hold this knife, I'm going to die. Huh? Can the genre of Kendo be changed at will? Hawkeye frowned in doubt. Zora's eyes suddenly showed Sren. He stroked the knife surface of Hideoi's words, didn't say much, just murmured, she is my only talking room tilde. Zora pointed the words of Hideo to the sky, let's go to the top of the sword, come back, Qina, Nani? Question mark. When hearing Zora's liberation language, Liu Lanai Doctor, FK, are you kidding? Could it be that Zora's Zanpei Kuto is actually Qina? If this is the case. Then Liu Olan seems to understand why Zora's Zanpei Kuto ability was not copied to him. It is very possible that the main reason why this Swadeki character evolved into Zanpei Kuto is not because of the manga, but because Zora's obsession with Kuina has formed a response in the Shinigami world. As the Shikai liberation language of the Japanese script was read by Zora, the incomparable Riatsu surged out of the sword of the Japanese script in an instant. These Riatsu wrapped Zora in an instant, behind Zora formed a phantom of a girl slightly taller than Zora by two centimeters tilde. Ah, uh, what's going on with Chlorola? Why is he calling Qina's name? Sanji had just jumped off the deck when he saw such a scene that surprised him. Chopper shouted excitedly, look at the phantom behind Zora, is that the girl Zora has always been thinking about? Death, I can feel it, that's the power of Shinigami. As a person who also possesses the Zanpak weapon, Usopp has the strongest feeling for Zora at this time. He could clearly feel that in the phantom behind Zora, it was definitely not the shell of his soul, but an existence with a real soul. Is it someone else's way of the sword? Zero ask for flowers. Hawkeye stared at the phantom behind Zora, and said slightly, although the way of the sword is a little immature, there will the way of the sword is terrifyingly strong. That's right. Dot 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 she is what I'm carrying. With her hard work, I'm going to be number one in the world. Zora flipped his right hand, holding the handle of the Japanese knife with both hands at the same time. At the same time, the phantom behind Zora seemed to merge with Zora and the phantom's hands also held the words of Hideoi Tilda. The moment Xu Aang held the knife, Zora felt infinite power! Exclamation mark. She has been working hard. Her powers have grown to this point. I see. Seeing that the little swordsman in East Blue has grown to this level, Hawkeye is very pleased. He grabbed the handle of the knife with one hand and the knife pavilion with the other. Here we come, Rora no Zora. Hideoi waved it seemingly casually, but it was actually not simple. With one move of the knife, the sword intent behind Hawkeye moves accordingly Tilda. It's like a wooden stick mixed into the cloth, bringing all the cloth it passes to the front. At this moment, Mansion's sword intent moved with the eagle's eyes and turned into an invisible blade. With infinite pressure, crashed down. Well done. Zora's eyes were deep, and he felt the bursts of responses from Head Ao Yiwin's sword, and whispered in his mouth, Qina, we're going. While speaking, Zora held up the knife in his hand. Very common move. But the way he raises his hand is as if he is pulling the mountain away. It seemed that what he lifted up was not a knife, but a towering mountain. A peak of sword power. One shot style. Four handed slash. At this moment, the hands of Phantom and Zora tightly held the head Oi character at the same time. The majestic Riatsu is like a dam that suddenly burst, and it is violently injected with the words of Head Ao. With one blow, the sky and the earth changed color, as if a star was falling. The wind of Riatsu that was blown up, the moment it touched the people around, Made them all look terrified, transparent. God, what kind of terrifying sword intent is this? Boom. Dash. Before the two knives touched each other, the swords collided with each other. Chapter 191 Facing the Peacock. Die the skies of Marinford Red. Please subscribe. The two swords exploded in an instant with monstrous momentum. The ripples caused by the swords' momentum were extremely sharp, and when they swept around, even the air was cut into cracks. In a form that is almost visible to the naked eye. Pieces of sword energy slashing waves formed by the explosion of sword intent are like thousands of years of snow falling, splashing all over the sky. Whoa. Back up quickly. It's so far away, and it's still splashing over. It's too scary. Ah. My hand was cut off. Call the medic. Damn it, it's so sharp, 
My low-level armament haki is useless in front of such a wave of sword energy. All of a sudden, those pirates and marines who watched from a close distance because of the pressure were all taught to be human by this fierce sword energy tilde. The two figures retreated at the touch of a touch, and then fought together again in less than 0.01 seconds. Bang 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 bang. On the battlefield, the clashing sound of two knives resounded into a dense storm. God knows how many times the two of them have fought each other at this moment. Say by the archipelago tilde. It's too exaggerated. Is this really the level that people can do? I can't see the shots of the two of them at all. You just can't see the shots of the two of them clearly. I can't even see the F King people. Is this how Hawkeye is attacking with all his strength? This attack speed is too fast. What's even more frightening is that Zora, the pirate hunter, is actually at a disadvantage in such a high intensity battle. Made, this guy shouldn't be measured as a supernova at all. The pirates in front of the big screen were all shocked by 0927 long strength, especially those supernovas, they don't feel like they're the same kind of supernova as are any more tilde. On the battlefield, the black knife knight is flying left and right in the hands of Hawkeye. Hideoi on the opposite side did not give in, he was overbearing. The two fought from the sky to the ground, and then from the ground to the ice. Wherever it went, Everything was destroyed. Damn. Watching this scene, Sengoku felt for the first time that it was a wrong decision to choose naval headquarters as the battlefield of this war. Not to mention whether this war will be won or lost in the end. Just looking at the trend of destruction, naval headquarters may not be guaranteed tilde. Such a young swordsman can be inseparable from Hawkeye. Is this a talent? Watching the battle between the two swordsmen, Momausagi Vice Admiral murmured in his heart, deeply shocked. Vista was equally horrified. It seems that talent is the most important thing in the way of swordsmanship. Don't let me be dazed. Stop the straw hat boy. At this time, Sengoku's roar instantly spread throughout naval headquarters from the radio phone bug. Under his roar, everyone's eyes immediately turned to Luffy. This look, good guy. While everyone was attracted by the challenge of the world's number one swordsman, this guy was about to go to the execution platform. Too cunning tilde. Zero. Doflamingo stepped on the sky's path line, and appeared in midair in front of Luffy as if flying, although I appreciate you, kid. But your good luck ends here. While speaking, he flexed his fingers upwards, and several invisible transparent threads were thrown up, and then landed on Luffy's body. Fur 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 turn your head and attack your partner Tilda. With a characteristic smirk, Doflamingo flicked his fingers, as if conducting a symphony. But the next moment, Doflamingo frowned. Huh? Why didn't you move? Question mark. On Luffy's body, the jet black armament haki instantly covered the whole body. He scratched his body with his hand and tore off a handful of invisible threads at once. It turned out to be this, abominable fellow, who hindered me. Throwing the string on the ground casually, Luffy continued to rush forward. It's surprising that I saw through my parasite string, but... Let's try the next move. Doflamingo throws one hand into the air. A large number of thin lines erupt violently like a fountain tilde. These are thin threads quickly gathered together to form a very thick bundle. Super twist whiplash, like swinging a sledgehammer, Doflamingo threw the entangled wires backwards to ultimate and then slammed towards Luffy in front again. But at this moment, a figure suddenly appeared from above his head. Didn't you hear what our captain said? Don't get in his way, you little character. The speaker is none other than Sanji. With the power of opening the sixth scene gate, he jumped into the sky in an instant, and then attacked from the top of Doflamingo's head with the momentum of Mount Tai. A leaf great whirlwind. Nanny, sensing a dangerous aura coming from above, the long-headed old Ming raised his head, only to see a whip leg had already landed on his face. There was no time to dodge. Doflamingo immediately raised his hand to block. It's a pity that he is not a Logia ability user and cannot be elementalized. Boom. Dash. Sanji kicked down. Doflamingo's arm was kicked hard on his own face, and then dented Tilda. Boom. Doflamingo, who was originally in midair, blasted into the ground in an instant. Luffy, leave this to me. Sanji landed on the ground, took a drag on his cigarette, and shook his head. Thank you, Sanji. Luffy readily accepts the help of his partners. In front of the big screen of Say Buddy Archipelago Tilda. What's the matter with this guy? He's just an unknown guy, right? Why can someone like Doflamenko be kicked away? Supernova Skarachimanap had an unbelievable expression on his face. Capone big nodded. Yes, there is no such person among the supernovas with a bounty of over 100 million. He should be just a small character in the Straw Hats Tilda. Dot, you call this kind of guy who kicks Doflamenko away a small role? Supernova Air or Usha's question marks written on his face. Kira said, compared to other people in the Straw Hat Pirates. He is indeed a small character in the Straw Hats. Say something heart-trenching. The small characters in the group are no less powerful than our captains. x Derek curled his lips and said depressedly. The supernovas looked at each other in blank dismay. Nima, old Dian, it really hurts my heart. Huh? You see. Doflamingo is fine. At this time, a pirate pointed at the big screen and exclaimed. Everyone immediately looked at the big screen. Sure enough, I said Doflamingo can't be this weak. That's right. As a big pirate group with a bounty of more than 300 million. 
and the bounty was before he became seven warlords of the sea, how could he be placed in the hands of a small pirate with a bounty of only tens of millions? Just now Doflamingo was just teasing him. It's ridiculous that this chef is still self-righteous and calls Doflamingo a small character tilde. Ha ha, little character. Look, Doflamingo is about to beat him out of the shit soon tilde. Tell me a joke. Doflamingo is a minor character. In the battlefield tilde. Foo fur fur. What an exaggeration, I almost fell into your hands. Doflamingo appeared in the ruins not far from Sanji sitting on a pile of rubble with a happy smile on his face. And under Sanji's feet, Doflamingo, who was kicked half to death by Sanji just now, has turned into a bunch of scattered thin wires. This is Doflamingo's forte, Shadow Knight String. Coil it round and round with thin wire to make a clone that can move freely and use part of the main body's ability. Looking at Doflamingo, Sanji was not too surprised, but said lightly, It's okay, I just let you stand for a while little character. Second time hearing this word out of Sanji's mouth. Doflamingo can't stand it. What a ignorant guy. Anyone who dares to look down on me, Doflamingo, hasn't been born yet. He moved his feet, and his figure instantly came in front of Sanji. Leg shave string. Lifting the foot and hitting it, a sharp steel wire was drawn from the foot. Sanji kicked him up. With the degree to which he opened the sixth scene gate, the basic attributes of his body were stimulated dozens of times. The speed is so fast. There is no need to say more. Before Doflamingo's kick came, Sanji's kick had already kicked Doflamingo's stomach. Boom. Dash. Doflamingo is like a cannonball, directly blasted into the ruins. In front of the big screen, those people who were still waiting to see Doflamingo's big cameo, all stood there in a daze. FK? Question mark. Didn't you agree to show him some color? Didn't you agree to come up with the strength of the big pirate who offered a reward of more than 300 million? After playing for a long time, it is still the same as before and I can't even block someone's kick? Question mark. Nima, our faces are all swollen. It's been said that you are a small role. A small role should have the self-knowledge of a small role. Sanji is very upset right now Tilda. He always thought he was on par with Zora. But now Zora is already in a peak battle with the world's number one swordsman. But he didn't even offer a reward of over 100 million Tilda. The more he thought about it, the more depressed he became. Sanji had no choice but to vent his anger on Doflamingo. Boom. The ruins exploded and Doflamingo rushed out from inside with a bruised nose and a swollen face. Arsel, being looked down upon again and again, Doflamingo was so angry that he was about to explode. But he was kicked away by the opponent like garbage again and again. This is really trying to prove yourself but can't do anything. Originally he planned to keep his strength, but if he keeps it now, he will really be nailed to the pillar of shame. Damn, you asked for it. Doflamingo pressed both hands to the ground. String string fruit awakening. With the effect of the fruit ability, the ground and buildings around Doflamingo all become lines. Exclamation mark. Lines rushed up to the sky, like an ocean of lines. That bastard. What a fool. Sengoku looked this way, suddenly furious. Seikazuki was also very angry. He looked at Doflamingo, and cursed. Idiot. Give me the scope control point. If it affects too many marines, Lozi will kill you with one punch. Doflamingo feels aggrieved. Even if you want to stand up, you can't make a move unscrupulously. However, a small range is a small range. Anyway, it does not affect the power of the move. A large number of white lines swayed like waves, and under the mobilization of Doflamingo, they form the shape of two flamingo wings around Doflamingo. The jet black armament haki is wrapped all over the thin threads woven into wings. Just looking at it from the hair, there are flamingos soaring into the sky which is quite scary. Thousand arrows piercing the heart feather hitting the line. Doflamingo flies to Sanji and hits the middle with both hands. The large-scale flamingo wings suddenly attacked Sanji's direction. It's an exaggeration. An attack of this scale is 5.1. There is no way to completely prevent it. This is an attack with thousands of beams, as long as one of them breaks in. The opponent will be seriously injured. What's even more frightening is that once he is attacked by this wire harness, more wire bundles will be shot into his body one after another. The guy who can become seven warlords of the sea, as expected, none of them are fuel efficient. That guy is finished. Just when most people thought that Sanji must die, I saw Sanji lightly squeeze the cigarette in his mouth, and then flicked it to the ground. It seems, you still have to be serious Tilda. Shaking his head slightly, sighed, Sanji stepped on his feet and his body burst into the air in an instant. He goes in the direction of Doflamingo and kicks it out. No, not a kick. This looks like a kick. In fact, countless kicks were kicked in an instant. But because it is so fast, it looks like there is only one foot. Every foot had a violent friction with the air because of the speed too fast, forming a blazing flame. In an instant, countless feet blasted out. Countless flames erupted like a celestial maiden scattered flowers. The flames dyed the sky red. It is as bright as a sunrise and more dazzling like a peacock's tail feathers. This is, to the peacock. Chapter 192 Nami makes a move. Lost card sleepy bear. Please subscribe, to the peacock. The moment the flame flower blooms, the entire sky is red, just like a peacock spreading its tail, 
It is so beautiful. What happens when a flamingo meets a peacock? The thin lines all over the sky burned and melted instantly under the high temperature of the flame, then turned to ashes. Zizizi. When the flamingo's wings were burned clean, the next flame immediately engulfed Do Flamingo Tilda. Balls of flames fell on Do Flamingo's body one after another, as if he had been hit by a heavy machine gun. His body kept sifting through the air. As the last flame fell, Do Flamingo's body fell from the sky like a rag bag. Exclamation mark. The ground was splashed with rubble, rubble and smoke. It's fake. Do Flamingo is vulnerable in front of him. Is this stepping horse really just a guy with a reward of tens of millions? What was that move just now? Does Devil Fruit have the ability? It doesn't look like it. Whatever his ability is, it's a terrifying ability anyway. This guy is a big shot. I feel that after this battle, if this guy hadn't died in naval headquarters, his bounty would definitely skyrocket. Does this still need to be said? Seeing that Do Flamingo was suppressed the whole time. The Melanitas were all shocked and dumbfounded Tilda. No doubt, from this moment on 08, the name Sanji will resume in the sea. Boom. Dash. Sanji landed with a crash, standing next to Do Flamingo's head. He took out a cigarette and lit it leisurely. He took a sip, showing the expression that a smoker should have on his face. Then looked down at Do Flamingo, little character. What else do you have to say? Do Flamingo's body was in severe pain at this time, and he was seriously injured. Hearing Sanji's face-to-face -face torture, he almost died of anger Tilda. Arsehole. I just lost to move. Why are you pretending? Cough cough cough. The anger was overwhelming, making Do Flamingo cough violently. One move. Hearing this, the corners of Sanji's mouth curled up slightly. Stop being sentimental. I haven't put in my best effort yet. You, you are far behind. Saying that, Sanji kicked out. Boom. Do Flamingo's body is like a broken sandbag. He was kicked into the ruins with a bang Tilda. Woo Tilda another scary guy has appeared Tilda. While circling with you oh Lan. Kizaru looked at Sanji and muttered in his mouth. I didn't expect this guy to have such strength Tilda. Aokiji recalled that time on Long Island. The moment Sanji fought against him, he was frozen by him. It stands to reason that he should be a rookie. But judging from the fight between Sanji and Do Flamingo just now, his strength is obviously very strong. And after defeating Do Flamingo, it is clear that there is still room to spare. Say Kazuki's face was gloomy, the guys in the Straw Hat Pirates are indeed dangerous, and they must not stay. At this time, he has already made up his mind to try to eliminate this pirate group and kill these dangerous seeds in the bud. On the other side, Luffy continued to sprint forward, but suddenly, his face changed, and the momentum of the whole person stopped abruptly. Jump back suddenly Tilda. An air cannon like a bear's paw landed on where Luffy was just now. Boom. The air cannon exploded, and the entire ground was instantly dazzled. Straw hat boy, we will escort you. A group of pirates from the Whitebeard Pirates caught up at this time, shouting and rushing towards Bartholimukuma. Bartholimukuma is expressionless like a blunt war machine. I saw him open his mouth. Whoosh! A beam of laser beam blasted out, and the pirates in front of me were instantly burned out Tilda. Don't waste your teammates spite time. With the cover of a few pirates just now, the rest of the pirates rushed to Bartholimukuma, and they waved their weapons and attacked Bartholimukuma fiercely. Boom boom boom. When their weapons, knives and guns fell on Bartholimukuma's body, they seemed to hit the iron wall, and they couldn't break through the defense at all. What? What a freak this guy is. Why is his body made of steel? No, it won't work. Just when these pirates were confused, Bartholimukuma moved. His palm directly patted a pirate's body. Whoosh! The pirate actually disappeared. Ben, the big-eyed pirate on the side yelled in panic. But the next moment Tilda, whoosh, under the palm of Bartholimukuma. He also disappeared in place. Then, whoosh, whoosh, these pirates all seemed to disappear in an instant one after another. Ah! Damn bastard. Luffy's anger was instantly ignited. Although it was only the first meeting, these pirates helped Luffy, which was recognized by Luffy. Without any hesitation, Luffy rushed forward to avenge the pirates. Rubber Ape King Gun. Luffy punched Bartholimukuma. And Bartholimukuma slapped Luffy with the same palm. At the moment when the attacks of the two were about to come into contact. Exclamation mark dash. An invisible barrier blocked the critical surface of the attack of the two. However, nothing happened. Luffy. Don't touch him. His fruit ability can bounce you away in an instant. Nami rode a small wand and flew to Luffy's side. After the Seibadi archipelago last time, Liu Olan realized this after meeting Bartholimukuma. So he talked to Nami alone. If you meet Bartholimukuma in Summit War, remember not to have any physical contact with him and rely on the roll of the shield to stop him. After all, this rule type fruit ability is sometimes too buggy, and it cannot be dealt with by the strong or weak Tilda. He touches you and flies away, even if you are not injured, but when you come back, this battle is over. That's still useful. Luffy, get around him. I'll deal with this tricky guy. Nami flipped his hand, and the wind card appeared in his hand. The magic power surged, and a gust of wind condensed into a fierce offensive. Rumble Tilda. The wind was like a torrent, and it hit Bartholimukuma violently. The huge body was instantly rolled around by the strong wind Tilda. In a hurry, 
He slapped the gale with his palm. Whoosh! The strong wind impact bounced off in an instant, rushing to the sky. Nami! He gave it to you. Without hesitation, Luffy left the battlefield on this side and continued to rush forward. Seeing that Luffy was about to run, Bartholomew slapped 777 forward with both hands, and immediately formed a huge bear Porsche air cannon. At this moment, the surrounding air seemed to be compressed in an instant. Although he can't speak, his intentions are obvious. Just stop Luffy. Boom. The moment the huge bear's poor shockwave was released, all the surrounding pirates and marines showed terrified eyes. Just from the feeling of this momentum, you can know how terrifying the explosion of this palm is. But at this moment, the fan card in Nami's hand flashed. Go in. The magical energy of the Lost Guard immediately formed a dimensional labyrinth, including Bartholomew Kima and the bear's poor shockwave. Rumble Tilda. Violent explosions raged wildly in the maze. I saw that the edge of the maze kept jumping back and forth between destruction and recovery Tilda. Stay here till Luffy rescues his big brother. Nami's figure also appeared in the maze. With a wave of her little magic wand, a fireball shot past. Bartholomew Kima bounced the fireball away with a palm, and then slammed the shockwave at the border of the maze next to it. Boom 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 boom. Violent explosions are continuously generated, but no matter how many times the edge of the maze is destroyed, it will recover in an instant. The magic power of the maze is consumed so quickly, it seems that I have to stop him from destroying the maze, otherwise the maze won't last long. Thinking of this, Nami used wind, fire and thunder cards at the same time. Flames, wind blades, lightning. It was like a local rich man, constantly throwing all kinds of life-saving props at Bartholomew Kima. Chapter 193 Soul Chariot, Hellfire Explodes Okiji. Please subscribe. Ace. I'm coming. Finally. Luffy is less than 100 meters away from the platform of the execution platform. Here, he can clearly see Ace's facial expression. Ace also saw the excitement on Luffy's face clearly. Luffy. Thousands of words turned into two words. Ace didn't know what to say except calling Luffy's name. Frozen time capsule. Suddenly, a biting cold air suddenly appeared, rolling in from the right side. Wherever you go along the way, everything is frozen. Luffy be careful, get out of the way. Seeing this scene, Asked God shouted, but Luffy's expression was fixed and he didn't dodge. Instead, the right fist instantly enlarged, wrapping around the black armament Haki. Rubber howitzer. Underscore, with a fierce bang, he smashed directly on the incoming cold wave. Boom. The billowing cold air was like water bubbles hitting the wall, bursting and splashing in all directions. Anger burst out of Luffy's eyes. He stared fiercely at Hokiji, and growled, Don't bother me. I just want to save my dot 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 big brother. The moment Luffy's eyes fell on Okiji's face, Okiji couldn't help but feel heartbroken. Such a firm gaze. The genes of the monkey family are really scary. Only, he Okiji is not vegetarian either. Although it is very touching, but the position is different. I have no reason to put water on you Tilda. Okiji's right arm turned into icy ice, which is like water waves and has strong plasticity. In the blink of an eye, it became a water giant. Baby mouth. Without holding back his hand, Okiji pushed forward with his right hand, and the cold, frozen bird immediately flapped its wings and flew towards Luffy. Get the hell out of me. Underscore. Luffy's arms were wrapped around armament Haki, and when the big frozen bird flew in front of him, the two fists slammed onto the big frozen bird's head from left and right, like closing a door. Boom. This frozen big bird was instantly smashed into shattered ice cubes, only. This violent freezing shock wave also caused Luffy to be shocked back several steps. Okiji was full of fighting spirit, and continued to press forward, trying to take the opportunity to chase Luffy fiercely. But at this moment, the surrounding air seemed to be ignited, and the temperature suddenly soared. You can even clearly see the white smoke coming out of the air, and the scorched smell permeated the air. What's happening here? Okiji subconsciously looked at Brick, and immediately saw a chain bursting with blazing flames. Boom. The moment the flame chain hit Okiji, his body was smashed to pieces. 5. Accompanied by the roar of the engine, a motorcycle with burning flames came quickly Tilda. Ga. The motorcycle braked suddenly beside Luffy and stopped steadily. This is where people discover, where is the motorcycle burning, but this rider is burning. Ah. What is that? Oh my god, I must be dreaming. It apostrophe s dot 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 a burning skeleton. That's a human or a ghost. Why did I see a living skeleton with flames all over it? Fake. It must be fake. WWW. Those marine soldiers at close range, after witnessing marine admiral being crushed by a burning skeleton, all went crazy. Can't believe things. Say by the archipelago tilde. FK. What is this? Scarachaman app, who was eating bananas, was so shocked that his eyeballs were about to fall out and his mouth was full of bananas spraying all over the floor tilde. Captain dot 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 I think I saw a skeleton attacking Marine Admiral? Question mark. Strange Gunworther stuck out his long tongue, and the shock in his eyes overflowed his eye sockets. T. The corner of Caponbeg's mouth twitched tilde. You seem to have seen. Didn't I see it? That mother is really a living skeleton. And it is super strength. Crazy. The world must be crazy. Hawkins was horrified, 
and murmured, Don't tell me, this guy is also a member of the Straw Hat Pirates, Hidustus said. He is helping the Straw Hat Boys, even if he is not a member of the Straw Hat Pirates. He is definitely an accomplice of the Straw Hat Boys, Kira, another guy I haven't heard of before. He doesn't even have a bounty. But he has the strength to check and balance Marine Admiral, even more outrageous than that chef. Aero Uja was dumbfounded, and stammered, how do I feel? Dot 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 a straw hat pirates group is worth a four emperors group. Exclamation mark. Perhaps even more, Trafalgar Law's complexion is also distorted, completely chilled by the electric shock tilde. On a battlefield tilde, when Brooke made his debut as a soul chariot, he immediately became the focus of the audience, facing the spotlight that everyone was looking at. Brooke's nature suddenly changed. He stood on the seat of the motorcycle and bowed deeply to everyone, in this battlefield of fighting and killing. How much I wanted to bring everyone a song to alleviate the hatred in everyone's heart tilde. As he said, Brooke took his cane and sword and went out. Then the blade rested on the cane, and pulled it up like playing a violin. The key is, there is actually a melody. Yo ho 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 tilde. K H H H tilde tilde. tilde. Send Binks wine to your side tilde. Like the sea breeze doing whatever you want, riding the wind and breaking the waves tilde. Goodbye harbor, silk town tilde. Let's sing a song. Song of Tanhang. Golden waves and silver waves also turn into water splashes tilde. We leave only because of the ocean tilde. Send Binks wine to your side tilde. We pirates, split the waves tilde. FK. Everyone is dumbfounded. This Nemo, a skeleton who can play the violin and sing? Question mark. On today's battlefield, outrageous things happened one after another. Now even the skeletons can sing tilde. It's outrageous. Open the door for outrageous. Outrageous. It's home. However, when the song spread, the two sides in the war were really listening Tilda, especially the pirates. This song literally sang right into their hearts. Yeah Tilda, as pirates, what we are after is that freedom. Just like the waves, do whatever you want. If Sengoku didn't he use Ace as a game, we would still be drinking wine, eating meat, and having banquets in the sea. Many marine soldiers even heard the singing, and couldn't help but agree with the purpose of the lyrics from the bottom of their hearts. Yes, life is too short, why be so tired? Shut up, all of a sudden. A loud shout spread throughout Marinford through the par system. Also interrupted Brooks singing. This is Sengoku's anger, he said angrily. Okiji, stop him. He is disturbing the morale of the army. Here Tilda. Okiji had just condensed from a pile of crushed ice, and he looked at Brook, frowning. Are you from the Straw Hat Pirates too? Yo ho 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 Tilda. That's right. Brook politely responded to the blue box. Hearing this, Okiji frowned. About a month ago, when I met the Straw Hat Pirates, I didn't see you. Ah Tilda, that's right. Brook nodded because I was invited to join the Straw Hat Pirates about two weeks ago. Suddenly thought of something, Brooke added, by the way, everyone in this team is talented, and they speak nicely, I really like this place. Okiji looks dumbfounded Tilda, what is this Nima and what is it? But there is one thing he can be sure of, that is, Brooke has only just joined the Straw Hat Pirates. He immediately said with emotion, such a strong man has been recruited in such a short period of time, what magical power does the Straw Hat Boy have? Of course. What he doesn't know is that, it is precisely because Brooke joined the Straw Hat Pirates that he can have such strength. Outsiders will not understand the cause and effect of this tilde. In that case, let's catch you first, and then deal with the Straw Hat Boy. Okiji leaps lightly, and jumps halfway up, frozen spears continuously condensed from his hands, and he threw them violently at Brooke. Wish wish. Dot. A large number of frozen spears flew towards them like a rain of swords all over the sky. Yo ho 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 ho. I love dealing with frozen ones tilde. Brooke put the cane sword into the scabbard without any haste, with a pull of his hands. The soul chains appeared automatically, and flames filled them. He grabbed Zoro's tail with one hand, and suddenly shook the soul chain with the other hand. The chain windmill. Underscore. With a soft drink from Brooke, the soul chains burning with the fire of hell were suddenly shaken into an impenetrable wall of flames and chains. When those frozen spears approached this cross section, they were all crushed to pieces. Well Tilda 10, seeing that the attack didn't work, Okiji stamped his head, a little stunned Tilda. But at the moment when he was dazed, he saw Brook pull out the soul chain with a whoosh. Hey Tilda, as soon as Okiji was about to swear, he was directly drawn by the soul chain Tilda. The chain clattered around his body more than a dozen times, and then Brook pulled it hard. Boom, Okiji exploded again. Chapter 194 Big Eddie Spider, Dutiful Sun Sword Tilda. Please subscribe. P.S. As reminded by the reader, the inappropriate setting of Sanji's peacock has been modified, and it has been changed to use the heel to play the peacock. Chapter 191 has been revised, and the revised content can be seen after refreshing the web page. The following is the text. Yo ho 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 this hellfire is really easy to use. Brooke is in a great mood right now. He has lived for so many years, and he never dared to think that he could face Marine Admiral head on. And now, not only did this happen, but he also exploded Admiral. It's so cool. Are you distracted? Suddenly, 
Okiji's voice appeared in his ear. Brooke woke up from the racing thoughts. But Okiji has already rushed forward. Frozen hour. The moment the cold air appeared, the temperature continued to plummet like a rocket flying downwards. Ka 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 ka. Brooke didn't have time to react. He was frozen into a big lump of ice. Good. Admiral One. That skeleton is frozen. Lodia ability users are really hard to beat. Seeing that Okiji was not only fine, but captured Brooke with a backhand, the marine soldiers cheered up again. But it didn't take long for them to be happy. When they saw a terrible flame bursting out from the frozen big ice block, the flame was like a fire that was suddenly torn apart, it sprang up in ten strokes. Cool Tilda. The flame dissipates the chill, melts the ice. The burning skeleton appeared in front of everyone again. Yo ho 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 Tilda, I was frozen by you inadvertently Tilda. Brooke made a funny expression, then touched the chain with his palm, and drew it towards Okiji again. Ice burst. As expected of Admiral. Okiji has rich combat experience. Drawing on the experience of the previous two times, this time he did not touch the soul chains directly, but used the extremely cold ice blast to intercept the attack route of the soul chains. This method really worked. When the ice blast appeared out of thin air on the attack route of the soul chain, the extreme freezing instantly interrupted the attack of the soul chain. It seems that Admiral can't be killed in one shot Tilda. Brooke looked at the soul chains frozen in midair, and the hellfire on his arm quickly passed through, melting the extreme freezing thus retracting the soul chains, and launched an attack again. Say Keizuki, I leave the straw hat to you. Although Okiji temporarily controlled the situation, he couldn't get rid of Brooke's entanglement in a short time and remind Say Keizuki. Just in time, Say Keizuki has been waiting. He doesn't have any scruples, itch, like Kizaru or Okiji, he is deadly when he makes a move. Big Canine Red Lotus. Underscore. The magma attack, which was stronger than the Fang Red Lotus blasted towards Luffy with an incomparable force. Even Luffy with armament Haki turned on, I don't want to suffer this hard tilde. Seeing that the execution platform was already in front of him, Luffy was forced to jump backwards, avoiding the devastating lava. With one move to force Luffy back, Seikazuki suddenly shouted, unless you pay the necessary price, you can't save anyone. This seems to be a bit confusing tilde. But in the battlefield, there was a person who gritted his teeth and was angry when he heard this. Really, they have reached an agreement already Tilda. Only by paying a certain price can Ace be saved. Big Vortex Spider Skew Yeah Double Red. Before this fight even started, he received a call from Marine Admiral Ake Ainu. On the phone, Ake Ainu told him that Marine and the Whitebeard Pirate Group had reached an agreement. As long as Whitebeard was willing to send the 43 pirate groups under his command into Marine's encirclement, Marine could let Ace be finally rescued. This word, of course. The big eddy spider skew yeah can't believe it easily tilde, but until he learned that Ace's true identity is the son of Goldie Roger, Skewad's heart was finally shaken. His partners and family members were all killed by Roger pirates, and Whitebeard knows about this. But instead of avenging him, Whitebeard took Roger's son as his son. As long as you are a normal person, it is impossible not to have grudges in your heart. What's more, a pirate like Skew Yad who is full of hatred? Question mark. Hearing Seikazuki say that again now. Kuyard is even more sure that there must be some kind of shady affair between Marine and Whitebeard. Activate the surrounding wall. At this time, Sengoku's order suddenly resumed it. Following Sengoku's order, there was a huge roar around the circle of Crescent Harbor. Immediately afterwards, I saw that the ice surface was smashed through with a bang, and pieces of iron walls like city walls revealed their ferocious faces from the sea water. They rose from the sea in perfect fit, completely blocking the Crescent Harbor into a deep giant iron barrel. At this time, Marine on the battle platform looked at the pirates in the Iron Barrel Harbor as if he was looking at a turtle in a jar. Damn it, Whitebeard, you really betrayed us. With a roar of anger in his heart, Skewyad forcibly suppressed the flames that filled the sky. He forced himself to calmly walk to Whitebeard at the front of the deck. Whitebeard also noticed someone coming behind him, and turned his head slightly to look over. Skewyad, are you okay? I couldn't contact you just now. It was predicted just now that Marine had a conspiracy and Whitebeard had already issued an order to disperse the large fleet under his command in advance. Ah, I'm sorry, Dad. Skewyard walked forward with a long knife longer than others, and stopped in front of Whitebeard. From this angle, he completely left his back to Whitebeard, showing great trust in Whitebeard. Father, the pirate group under his command has suffered heavy losses. All combat power is put on the line, but the enemy surrounds us. As Skewyard said, the Whitebeard pirates were indeed surrounded when the pacifists appeared behind the harbor. Um, Whitebeard nodded. I'm going to go out too. For example, we need to break through the enemy's formation, otherwise it will be very bad for us. Indeed, we are all grateful to you. We would do anything for the Whitebeard pirates. When the last word R came out of Skewyard's mouth, he turned around abruptly, and stabbed the long knife in Whitebeard's body behind him hard. Wow, when this scene appeared, the entire battlefield seemed to fall into deathly silence instantly. All eyes turned to the deck of the Moby Dick, looking at the body pierced by the long knife. 
it is like a remnant painting tilde. Whitebeard was impaled by the murderer is skewed of the Whitebeard pirates. What's going on here? Question mark. How could this happen? Crazy, crazy. In front of all the live cameras, all the audience, whether it is pirates, marines or civilians, all of them are dumbfounded and dumbfounded. Chapter 195 Chopper. The Ice of the Enchantress. Give Okiji the chill. Subscribe. Even Whitebeard himself was dumbfounded tilde. The moment Skewyad turned around just now, he did notice a trace of malice, but he insisted that his son would not hurt him, and he didn't even use observation haki to detect Skewyad's next move. Because of this, Skewyad was able to stab Whitebeard with a knife. It can be said it was Whitebeard's um furtherly love that Skewyad used to hurt him. Skewyad, like a sharp sword, Marco descended from the sky, pinned Skewyad's head, and pressed him directly to the ground of the deck. He yelled full of anger and incomprehension, Why are you doing this? Tilda, Dad. Underscore? The captains all looked at Whitebeard worriedly. Rush, Skewyad slashed at Marco and shouted, Aren't you the ones who forced me to do this? Marco was about to continue to subdue Skewyard, but Whitebeard blocked it with his hand. However, Skewyard didn't appreciate it. Stop acting. Whitebeard, you've colluded with Marine, right? They'll make sure you Whitebeard pirates and Ace are safe. Hey, hello, Skewyard, what are you talking about? What happened? Skewyard, why did you say that? Did you hear something? The pirates looked at Skewyard with puzzled faces. We've been tricked. Skewyard yelled, for Whitebeard, among all the sons, Ace is the most special one. In order to save him, Whitebeard betrayed us 43 pirates. The Whitebeard pirates and Ace will be saved. Sengoku already promised you, am I right? But all of us are still in the dark. For Ace, for Whitebeard, we're here. But now let's take a good look at the situation in the harbor. Isn't it us who are the living targets? Question mark. We're trapped in the ice and there's no way out. Skewyard's words spread nearly throughout naval headquarters, and throughout the world via the live phone bug. But at this time, Sengoku got angry. What the hell? Why is the still alive phone bug working? Question mark. Sengoku doesn't want the world to see this kind of estrangement. What happened before can be seen by the world tilde, and the current section is impossible. All people need to know is that this war is marine and that's enough. As for any nasty behavior in the process, that should never be seen. So at the moment when Skewyard said that Whitebeard had betrayed the 43 pirates under his command, Sengoku ordered to shut down the live broadcast. But the problem is, why would there still be a live phone bug at work? Sengoku is entirely conceivable, as Whitebeard will surely explain later. In this way, the dirty water splashed on Whitebeard may be washed away. This is definitely not what Sengoku wants to see. He quickly scanned the battlefield, and through the live broadcast of the footage on the big screen, he quickly locked the position of the video phone bug on the scene. It was on the mast of the Golden Mary, and a young girl dressed in K was sitting on the mast, and she seemed to be carrying high-tech weapons. In the girl's hand, she was holding a large live phone bug, which was broadcasting live to the entire battlefield. Aokiji, there, Sengoku pointed at the top of the mast of the Golden Mary with his hand, and ordered loudly, Clear, Aokiji has been the admiral for so many years, and he already knows Sengoku's orders like the back of his hand, so he doesn't need Sengoku to speak clearly. He stepped on it, and the Marine Six Styles body technique instantly rushed it in the opposite direction. Hey Tilda, Brooke looked bewildered. He has been guarding against Okiji to chase Luffy, but he didn't expect Okiji to turn back at this time Tilda. By the time he realized it, Okiji was already approaching going merry. Little Ice Age, Okiji pressed forward with both hands, and the extremely cold billowed out. Ka 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 ka. Those ice surfaces that were originally frozen were frozen hard again. And this ice is like a gust of wind blowing towards going merry in an instant. No. That girl is in danger. Marine is so anxious to turn off the live broadcast, there must be some ulterior secret. Yeah, I see something wrong with the white beard thing. Damn it. All the live broadcast signals are suddenly interrupted, and this is the only one left. No chance. The combat power of the Straw Hat Pirates should all go out to fight, and no one will protect this girl. Just when the Melanitas were sighing that they would no longer be able to continue watching, a raging flame suddenly appeared out of thin air. Rumble Tilda. Hundreds of fireballs that were bigger than buildings appeared almost at the same time, forming an incomparable flame storm. This flame storm instantly collided with the extremely cold breath coming from it. Zizizizi. In an instant, White Twelfth rose up all over the sky. The flame and the cold have reached a tacit blend. Cancel each other, dissolve each other. It's you. When Okiji saw clearly the person standing in front of the deck of the Golden Mary blocking him, his face was slightly startled. He remembered that during the last battle on Long Island, Nico Robin can't make such a large-scale flame tilde, Aokiji. The relationship between us has been settled, so I will not show mercy to you. Nico Robin folded her hands in front of her body, ready to strike at any time. Her face was frosty, and she continued coldly, Don't blame me for not reminding you. In our team, even if you beat our captain, we will not necessarily desperate with you. But, if you dare to touch a single hair of this girl, 
I swear to you, you will die miserably. It's really a terrible threat Tilda. Aokiji stamped his head. Obviously, he didn't take this kind of words seriously. Your flame Haki seems to have become stronger, but I remember that your physical strength is very problematic. If you consume it, you can't stop me. And that live phone bug, I must turn it off. Saying that, Okiji released the chilling air again. Rumble Tilda. The extreme cold atmosphere is layered on top of each other and intertwined with each other, forming an even colder extremely cold air field. The results of many years of cultivation are reflected at this moment. Just a big move just now, Robin's face has turned pale. But Okiji doesn't seem to have even a trace of disorder in his breath tilde. When the majestic extremely cold air field is stacked together, it is like ten large rivers erupting torrents at the same time, rushing towards going merry with the momentum of destroying everything. Let me. Seeing that Robin might not be able to resist, Lan Chi rushed forward at once. He opened his arms, and a swarthy muzzle appeared. Incineration cannon. Boom. Dazzling flames exploded from his muzzle. The light cannon condensed by the orange flames blasted into the extremely cold air field without any hesitation. In an instant, the advancing momentum of the extremely cold aura was suppressed. Only, after a while, the momentum of the incineration cannon decreased. But the momentum of the extremely cold aura continued to replenish Tilda. Okiji is like a nice man at this time driving the terrible deep cold behind the extremely cold aura. Bastard, this guy is too strong. Frankie looked at his shrunken flame with a dazed expression. Go and tell Luo Lan, I'll block him for a while. Robin said anxiously. Exclamation mark. Frankie also understands that the situation is very critical now, so he has to go to rescue the soldiers without saying a word. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. But at this moment, a terrible coldness suddenly appeared behind them. Hash. He had an illusion that the icy cold coming from behind was even more terrifying than the extremely cold aura created by Okiji in front of him. I can't help shivering from the cold. And Frankie could sense that the chill behind him wasn't aimed at him. Otherwise, when he was unprepared just now, he should have been frozen instantly. Subconsciously, both Frankie and Robin turned their heads to look behind them, and suddenly saw a green-skinned species looking angrily at Okiji ahead. It seems that this species has the characteristics of a mermaid, a bird, and even a monster. Probably a combination of these things Tilda, Chopper. But Robin recognized the monster immediately, because no matter how Chopper changes, his pair of antlers remain the same. If you want to hurt little Millie, I will never allow it. Chopper jumped and jumped straight down. His body hit Okiji's extremely cold aura directly. Chopper, Robin and Frankie exclaimed anxiously at the same time. Okiji was also taken aback. Point zero zero. Did you take the initiative to commit suicide? Although he doesn't know the ability of the monster in front of him. He is very clear about the power of his extremely cold aura tilde, let alone a monster more than 10 meters tall, even sea kings, in front of his extremely cold aura, will end up the same. Wow, a strange howling sound suddenly appeared in the extremely cold air field tilde. The next moment, I saw Chopper, who had transformed into the demon girl Kang Bing, shoot out red eyes. Hash A. With overwhelming momentum, he rushed towards the front of Going Merry. This coldness directly swept Okiji's extremely cold aura. Rolling forward together tilde. Ka 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 ka. The ground tilde. The sea tilde. That sky. At this moment, everything freezes and freezes. And tilde. This icy momentum pushed back toward the marine combat platform at an ever increasing speed. When passing by Okiji, Okiji seems to feel a cold shiver tilde. Just kidding. Feeling the chill, Okiji is not feeling well tilde. Previously at Long Island, he had seen Liu Olan, Nami and others frozen. Haki, although he was shocked. But that was within his acceptable range tilde. But the chill I feel right now. Let Okiji feel that this is even beyond the level of devil fruit. It's too cold to be exaggerated. Wherever the cold passes tilde. Not only the ice surface and the ground were frozen twice. But even the sea and the sky were forced to flow out of pillars. And tilde. As the chill continues to hit the battle platform. These icicles are still being produced tilde. It seems that the naval headquarters has created countless pillars at once. Yo ho 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 ho. Brooke finally caught up. He rode the soul chariot and slammed into Okiji's body. The fire of hell erupted with a bang. Okiji's double knees exploded again. Gah! The burning motorcycle drew a perfect arc on the ice. Brook came to a sudden break. He looked at the broken Okiji and spread his hands. Ah! It seems like there was a traffic accident tilde. Both Frankie and Robin curled their lips. You obviously did it on purpose. Chapter 196 The Little Reporter of the Straw Hats Please subscribe. With Chopper's strong stand up and Brook's return aid, Okiji obviously can't get any benefits. After all, the restraining effect of hellfire on frozen fruit is quite obvious. On the mast, little Melly turned the video phone bug around, and made a gesture of scissors to herself. Hi everyone, I'm the little reporter of the Straw Hat Pirates, and I'm giving you an exclusive live broadcast now Tilda. Pouting her mouth playfully, little Melly recast the camera of the live phone bug on the battlefield. Wow! Who is that cute little beauty Tilda? It's so cute. My heart disease has been activated. The Straw Hat Pirates actually have such a cute and invincible Lily girl. It's so happy to be a pirate in this pirate group. I declare that starting today, 
I am a fan of the Straw Hat Pirates. Little Beauty, you must continue the live broadcast. Whether we can continue to watch this war today depends entirely on you 277. In front of the big screens, the crowd was boiling. Although what they said could not be conveyed to the scene, but the irresistible cute lifestyle of Xiamili made 99% of the men become fans. Of course, the old aunts are no exception, they are all cute. At this time, in the live camera Tilda. Bastard. Skewyard, you were tricked by Marine. How can you not trust Dad? Marco grabbed Skewyard's clothes and angrily reprimanded him. Skewyard laughed. Marco, are you even pretending to be stupid with me? At this time, Whitebeard sighed. The fact that Ace is Roger's son is indeed an indisputable fact, and they took advantage of this to successfully deceive a person who is most easily swayed by it. Dot, their schemes are better than ours. Skewyard, you will actually fight with Dad and me. Whitebeard's face was deep, and he looked down at Skewyard in front of him. What a stupid son. Ark. Seeing Whitebeard's reaction at this time, Skewyard also came to his senses a little. Immediately I felt conflicted and ashamed. Made. This San Wu seems to realize that he was cheated by Marine. It was only at this time that I realized that there is something wrong. His father was stabbed by him. Look, his father is going to be angry. It's the last few seconds of his life. Yeah, what's the use of keeping such an idiot son? It's best to kill him. There is no doubt that Whitebeard's sword will behead him. That's for sure. Such a guy, don't kill G. Everyone firmly believed that Skewyard would die at the hands of Whitebeard in the next moment. Even Skewyard himself thought his time had come. However, under everyone's unbelievable eyes, Whitebeard squatted down and hugged Skewyard in his arms. Although you are a stupid son, I still love you. 14. This move caused an uproar all over the world. Damn it. This man really deserves his father's status. What are you kidding? You obviously want to use our lives. But Skewyard still wanted to stick to his prejudice at all. He roared vigorously. Whitebeard said in a deep voice, You are so honest and loyal. Who led you astray? Skewyard gritted his teeth. Marine Admiral Ake Ainu said he was against this war. So, as long as I can kill you, he will help us pirates and let us go. These words spread throughout the world through Xiamili's live broadcast. People are not fools. They naturally have their own thinking tilde. Hearing this, people are outraged. Ah! This idiot. He actually believed the enemy's words but not his captain. What a disgrace to the pirate world. How stupid is this guy on a horse to believe someone like Ake Ainu? The most ridiculous thing is that Ake Ainu said that as long as he plots against Whitebeard, he can let them go. Is this logical? Damn logic. This silly little spider was tricked by Ake Ainu because of his hatred for Roger. Oh, oh, Marine's tricks are really beautiful. But anyone who is not a fool can immediately hear that something is wrong. If Whitebeard is dead, can Marine let you off the maelstrom spider pirates? Even if a fool becomes the Marine Marshal. He should know how to take advantage of the situation and wipe them all out. Is that what Ake Ainu said? Listening to Skewyard's answer, Whitebeard sighed heavily, and he looked at Skewyard. How much you hate Roger, I know very well. But, Skewyard, how ridiculous is this kind of thing? Did Ace ever do you anything wrong? Let's get along well, not only love is special. You are all my family. Standing up slowly, Whitebeard stood up straight tilde. His back is as solid as a mountain. Looking at Sengoku on the execution platform from a distance, Whitebeard said coldly, you are so young, Sengoku. You actually said that I betrayed my son. You did a great job beautiful. Thinking of Sengoku's move to shut down the live phone bug just now, Whitebeard understood everything. If it hadn't been for the fact that Little Millie has been live broadcasting all the time, then he, Whitebeard, will be blamed for betraying his sons now. Immediately, Whitebeard raised his arms, clenched fists slammed fiercely to both sides. Boom. The terrible eye shock spread to the icebergs on both sides in an instant. Ka 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 ka. The icebergs on both sides which were originally frozen by the tsunami, directly turned into ice blocks and rocks in the sky under the eruption of Whitebeard, and crashed down. The passages on both sides have been opened. The ships over there are also able to pass. In this way, we can withdraw at any time. Looking at Whitebeard's actions at this time, those pirates who are still a little shaken by Whitebeard at this time no longer have any doubts about Whitebeard. Said he betrayed us? Question mark. But isn't he the one who opened the way for us now? Moreover, it's not the first day we know what kind of person Dad is. Stupid. Skewed, you almost made us misunderstand Dad by 5.2. As a pirate, you have to decide for yourself what to believe. Whitebeard looked forward firmly, and he shouted, If you are not afraid of death, come with me. As soon as the words fell, Whitebeard ignored the still bleeding chest, stepped on his feet, and jumped off the deck of the Moby Dick. Come on, open the way for Dad. It is unforgivable for Marine to use such despicable means to hurt Dad. For Papa, fight. The entire Whitebeard pirates, from top to bottom are all excited at this time. Like berserkers who have been injected with chicken blood, they swarmed and rushed while roaring. Chapter 197 Meteor Volcano? Blow me back. Please subscribe. Ake Ainu, do it. At this time, Sengoku shouted an order to Ake Ainu. New, Seikezuki, the only one among the three admirals who was still guarding under the execution platform, 
moved at this moment, behind him, thick smoke billowed into the sky. It was countless lavas emerging out of thin air, turning into a sea of burning meteor volcano. The burning ocean behind Ake Ainu is like a bottomless crater, endless lava forming countless magma fists, shooting into the sky. Then, these magma fists traced billowing smoke in the air and fell towards the pirates in Crescent Harbor. Ah! This is what Ake Ainu did. Made. He wants to burn us. No, his purpose is even more ruthless. He wants to melt the ice and make us completely lose our foothold. Trough. Such a vicious approach. After understanding what Sengoku and Ake Ainu did, the pirates roared into the sky. Yo ho 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 ho. It seems that we have to do it. Watching the lava falling from the sky, Brook swung the soul chain in his hand, and exploded a fist of lava with one blow. Boom. Dash. The lava fist exploded, turning into a large amount of magma rain and splashing down. Or oh, it's hot. Wow. It's so hot. Although the magma was pumped, it splashed down, causing a larger area of damage instead. Hey hey dot 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 tilde. Brooks skull face turned red at 08, and he scratched his head in embarrassment tilde. Frost spits fog. Chopper on the side happened to be in the transformation time state of Kang Bing. The enchantress. He raised his head and screamed to the sky. A cold air burst out from his mouth tilde. As he kept shaking his head, the cold air spread to the sky like water. Wherever they passed. Those lava fists were all frozen into ice, although these big ice cubes are still powerful when they fall down. They are much better than falling down such a big pile of lava. Looks like I have to do something. At this time, Liu Olan and Kizaru formed a confrontation. Invincible, I don't. As long as Kizaru doesn't move, Liu Olan will be happy tilde. Coincidentally, Kizaru thought so too. The two of them stood there, as if they were masters confronting each other with their minds. But they were all playing soy sauce tilde. Liu Olan communicated with the wind guard of the Kulio card. Immediately. The magic power of the wind guard was released by Liu Gang. Of dash, the strong wind rises from the ground, and the lava is blown by the wind. The scalding magma that was originally falling to the ground was swept backwards into the sky under the raging gust of wind. Not only Liu Olan is making a move, but Nami is also doing the same thing. The two strong winds directly contracted all the areas hit by Meteor Volcano Tilda. The magma was re-rolled back into the sky. Wahahaha, saved. Where does this wind come from? God help us. Look. The magma seems to be blown back by the wind. Amidst the excited cheers of the pirates, I saw the magma flying to the sky above Marine with a strong wind, and it was scattered down. Not good. Seeing the magma falling down, Sengoku's face changed drastically. He shouted in shock, Okiji. At this moment, the first thing he thought of was Okiji's ice fruit Norai. Only frozen fruit is capable of handling such a large-scale magma fall. Otherwise, many Marine soldiers will die under Ake Ainu's lava in this wave. That's too late. Without Sengoku saying much. Okiji also wants to make a move. But the problem is, in order to fulfill Sengoku's order, Okiji rushed from the opposite side of the execution platform to going merry. Now he is asked to rescue the battlefield on the other side of the execution platform, unless he can teleport. Otherwise, this Nima is not embarrassing people. It's over. Looking at the concentrated falling magma, the marine soldiers fell into deep despair. Although the magma was cooled a lot by the two gusts of wind in the air, its power is still not to be underestimated. If you fall down, you will still die Tilda. Just when Marine seemed to be powerless, a silver-haired grandmother among the Marine generals sighed. Fortunately, these magmas fell in a concentrated way. Otherwise, it would be really troublesome Tilda. While speaking, Crane Vice Admiral made a slow motion with his left hand, and repeated the slow motion with his right hand. She saw two swirling waves drawn out of thin air by her. The moment these two fluctuations appeared, they seemed to form the same reflection in the midair. Clatter Tilda. The magma that was about to fall was all twisted into a strange energy vortex at this moment. It was as if there was a huge drum washing machine in the sky, spinning rapidly. At this moment, those fiery magmas were like helpless boats trapped in Uzumaki, unable to control themselves at all, and were violently stirred up. It's Crane Vice Admiral. Great, that's the ability to wash fruits. Our lives are given by Crane Vice Admiral. Crane Vice Admiral gave us a second life. She will be my mother from now on. F.K., you boy, she's from our grandma's generation. Why are you shameless giving yourself a seniority? Puff. In the rejoicing of the rest of their lives, many marines even joked. It has to be said that these marines who can be invited to the headquarters to participate in the summit war are indeed all at the elite level. Even in the face of life and death, he performed much better than those rookies. Clatter Tilda. When the drum washing machine churned, the magma had already cooled completely and was stirred into a pot of magma ash, which floated away from the sky. Can washing fruit still be like this? A strange look appeared on Liu Olan's face. Good guy Tilda. It's really a long time. Gula la la la. Taking advantage of the situation at this time, Whitebeard advanced rapidly. Wherever he passed along the way, whether it was a marine officer or an ordinary soldier, they were all swept away by his Kong Yankee like sweeping garbage. Whitebeard, you can't get on the battle platform. A voice roared loudly, and the 10-meter-tall Titan Vice Admiral John J. Dawn appeared 
and he slashed at Whitebeard's head from top to bottom. Boom. Whitebeard raised his knife to welcome. The two forces collided, and Whitebeard's arm trembled visible to the naked eye tilde. No doubt, Whitebeard is old and seriously ill, and was stabbed in the chest again. Now he is really not as powerful as before. Don't even think about passing here. Sensing Whitebeard's seemingly inexhaustible strength, Titan Vice Admiral John Jadden grew more confident. But the next moment Tilda, Whitebeard jerked his arms loose, grabbing empty hands. Bang bang bang. The shattering fluctuations of the basic vibration appeared out of thin air on John J. Dawn's body. As Whitebeard pulled down hard, the body of the Titan, which was more than ten meters high, suddenly fell down. Whitebeard jumped up and punched the Titan Vice Admiral in the chest. Puff. Hot blood spurted out of John Jadon's mouth like a water tank burst, and then passed out. Little Aussie, there is a change in the plan, change it to lift swimming. Knocking down the Titan Vice Admiral, Whitebeard immediately issued an order to Little Aussie Jr. At this time, all the warships of the Whitebeard pirates appeared. But in fact, there is also a larger pirate ship lurking in the water of Crescent Harbor. According to Whitebeard's original plan, when they all rushed into the Crescent Harbor, it was time for this pirate ship to show up. And this pirate ship is still a paddle steamer, which can travel on the ground. If the plan goes well, the paddle steamer should show up at this time, and then Little Oz will pick up the paddle steamer and rush to the battle platform of Marine allowing the pirate army to attack in one fell swoop. However, something unexpected happened. At this time, Crescent Harbor Bay was completely frozen. Even the opportunity that might have been broken by Ake Ainu's meteor volcano just now was blocked by the Straw Hat pirates. In this way, the paddle steamer lurking at the bottom of Crescent Harbor will not be able to come on board. I have no choice but to temporarily change the plan tilde. Okay, Dad, just watch mine. Little Ozzy strode over, hugged the frozen edge with both hands and lifted up with all his strength. Boom 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 boom. With the force of little Ozzy, the frozen surroundings snapped one after another tilde. Then, in the astonishment of everyone, the ice layer in the middle of Crescent Harbor was lifted up abruptly by little Oz. Almost exerting all his strength, little Ozzy lifted one end of the ice layer onto the marine combat platform, and then lifted it hard. Everyone on the ice layer slid down towards the battle platform of naval headquarters like they were making slides. Even the pirate ships and warships on the ice are the same tilde. Waha! There is no obstacle ahead. Those marines were slid back to Come on, break into the marine platform. Then the landslide charge of the ice. The pirate army almost all passed the battle platform of naval headquarters in a short moment. Get out of here! Facing a group of marine soldiers rushing over, Whitebeard slashed Tilda. Wow Tilda. These marine soldiers suddenly fell like withered snowflakes Tilda. But at this moment, the temperature in front of Whitebeard suddenly. The sulfurous smell emitted by the burning magma rushed to the face. A hot figure suddenly appeared. It was Ake Ainu Admiral. Just when Whitebeard was about to make a second swing at several marine rear admirals, Ake Ainu stepped on Kong Yankee's knife. Rumble Tilda. Billows of lava exploded at Ake Ainu's feet sending out terrifying temperatures and force zones. Whitebeard, don't think you can run amok on this island. Ake Ainu crossed his arms in front of him, looking very cool. Gula la la la. Then you just keep watch. Whitebeard kicked hard and lifted Ake Ainu's foot. A hint of arrogance appeared at the corner of his bleeding mouth. The next moment, he punched out. Ka 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 ka. Sea was violently shaken, and the atmosphere shattered. Ake Ainu also punched out. The tumbling magma burst out like a thunderclap. Boom. Dash. This moment Tilda. The devil fruit with the strongest destructive power and the devil fruit with the strongest attack power. Collision. Chapter 198 Filial Piety. Luffy punches Garp. Please subscribe. Boom. For a time, the magma and the power of the vibration exploded at the same time Tilda. The surrounding pirates and marines were all blown away. Meanwhile, at the scaffold, Luffy had already rushed directly under the execution platform. Dazzling Hundred Blossoms Earth style Tulubai. Robin in the distance has been paying attention to the situation on Luffy's side. Seeing that Luffy is only close to the door, she immediately makes a move. The Earth style Tulubai that had just been cultivated just before arriving at naval headquarters came in handy at this time. On the ground, countless arms protruded densely like a jungle. Those palms quickly formed seals, and they were pressed to the ground in an instant. Boom. The ground seemed to be alive, violently lifted, layer by layer, forming an Earth-style staircase leading directly to the execution platform. Thank you, Robin. With so many arms, Luffy knew it was Robin's shot. Without any extra hesitation, he rushed forward directly. At this time, the only thing between Luffy and Ace is this ladder created by Earth-style. However, execution. Sengoku suddenly called out Tilda. This shout shocked the world immediately. What? Marine is going to execute early? Question mark. I really didn't expect it. The execution time set by Sengoku himself was overturned by himself. Is that dot 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 shameless? I can understand it too. The people who robbed the law field have rushed to the front. Execution at this time can instantly damage the morale of the opponent. Sengoku is still spicy enough. Nonsense. This is still live. He did this and hit Marine directly in the face. That's right. If Marine was in control of the situation, 
Sengoku would definitely not have issued such an order. This move is more like retreating. However, what is the final outcome of this war? Marine is completely ashamed this time tilde. All over the world, all the people watching this war were stunned by Sengoku's sudden operation tilde. Even the two executioners with execution knives were stunned for a moment. Afterwards, they reacted and raised the execution knives in their hands without hesitation. The two long knives were like ghost knives and fell fiercely towards Ace's neck from the left and right sides. Don't. Dot. Seeing this scene, Luffy roared anxiously. Whoosh, whoosh. In the sky, two sonic booms appeared. In the blink of an eye, two marine soldiers holding execution knives burst out with blood instantly. Their bodies were like kites with a broken string, and they were ruthlessly taken away from the execution platform. What? Sengoku's A's widened, looking in the direction of the Golden Mary! Exclamation mark. There are two fluctuations that strike instantly Tilda. After crossing such a long sea and air distance, it precisely landed on the bodies of the two executioners. That kind of fluctuation cannot be seen, but it can be felt with observation Haki. There is no doubt that this was shot by a sniper, able to accurately target moving targets at such a long distance. This sniper, is very strong. What shocked Sengoku even more is, the two fluctuations just now not only revealed a trace of coercion that frightened the soul, but the most important thing was, those two fluctuations appeared at the same time, there is no almost. What does that mean? This means that the two sniper waves just now are the two sniper waves fired by the sniper at the same time. The two sniper waves are not the same target, but they are fired at the same time. This obviously cannot be caused by firearms. When Sengoku locked onto going Mary's mast with observation Haki, he was in shock. Nah. It turned out to be a slingshot. Question mark. Sengoku couldn't believe his eyes. Can a slingshot shoot this far? And so accurate. Just kidding Tilda. Ace, I'm here to save you. Luffy let out a long sigh of relief, and rushed to the execution platform quickly, only 20 meters away. He can touch Ace. But at this moment, a figure descended from the sky and landed heavily on the steps of the earth flow wall. Boom. The huge impact directly caused the ladder to burst. It's Marine here Garp. OMG. Vice Admiral Garp joins the defense. That kid can't make it through. The sudden figure immediately reversed the situation of the battlefield Tilda. Even Luffy herself had a sudden heart attack. The childhood shadows of being thrown off a cliff, tied to a balloon, and left in the jungle after starving for days and nights came to my mind again Tilda. This one in front of him is his god Aixing. Grandfather, Luffy gritted his teeth, despite the psychological shadow, but in order to save Ace, he still overcame all the obstacles in his heart without hesitation. While running, he yelled, Grandpa, get out of there. How is that possible? Luffy. I am Marine Vice Admiral. Garps played out, fists clenched. On an old face. The Meridians are bursting because of the fierce look Tilda. He grinned ferociously and roared, I was already fighting pirates before you were born. If you want to pass, kill me first. Straw Hats. Luffy. When Garp changed his name to Luffy from Luffy to Straw Hat Luffy, it showed that he was firming up his position Tilda. No doubt. At this moment, Garp only thinks of himself as a Marine. Only think of Luffy as the pirate with the title of Straw Hat Luffy. Ah. Dash. Listening to Garp addressing him. Luffy was taken aback, although he was often abused by his grandfather since he was a child, he will never be unaware of his grandfather's love and expectations for him. Dirt. When Garp shouted Straw Hat Luffy, Luffy felt scared for the first time Tilda. It was a heavy feeling to choose between Grandpa and Ace. But, Grandpa can coax later, but Ace is going to die soon. How should I choose here? Anyone who is not a fool knows what to do. Grandpa, I can't do it. Get out of the way. Near. Closer. Kill Grandpa first. Luffy said he couldn't do it Tilda. Certainly. He never considered whether he has the strength to kill Garp Tilda. Garp roared fiercely, if you can't do it, Ace will only die. This sounds harsh, but if you think about it carefully, isn't this irritating Luffy? Question mark. Garp knew how much Luffy cared about Ace, so he deliberately brought up the matter of Ace's death at this time, which immediately, good Wang Zhao, strengthened Luffy's determination. No. I never allow this to happen. Luffy gritted his teeth, full of strength Tilda. There are so many things you don't agree with. I won't show mercy. Seeing Luffy approaching, Garp raised his right hand, his soundbag-sized fist was full of strength, and roared, From now on, Luffy, you are my enemy. Luffy's whole body suddenly turned white, and his muscles swelled. The huge fist was suddenly inflated and enlarged. The fists of the two hit each other almost at the same time Tilda here Tilda, looking at Luffy in front of him, his eyes were blurred. It seems that Luffy in his youth appeared. Fox, for a moment, he closed his eyes Tilda. Luffy's fist landed heavily on Garp's chin Tilda. Boom. Garp plunged headlong into the rubble below. Chapter 199 Sun God Nico Awakens. Please subscribe! Exclamation mark. When this scene appeared, the entire battlefield suddenly fell into a moment of silence. Marine Vice Admiral Garp gets punched by Straw Hat Luffy? Question mark. The man who could push Roger into corners several times was actually beaten away by a young pirate. Many people who don't know the relationship between Garp and Luffy are dumbfounded at this time Tilda. 
but those who knows the inside story are filled with emotion Tilda, you can't escape the love of your children, gulp Tilda, Sengoku murmured, he looked at Luffy who was rushing up, and realized that he had to do it himself, Luffy stepped onto the execution platform at this time, and rushed towards Ace excitedly, straw hat boy, don't be too proud, Sengoku suddenly stood in front of Ace, and he suddenly burst into golden light, the figure of the whole person is instantly magnified several times, it suddenly turned into a golden Buddha, Sengoku, Luffy raised his head and looked up, his price suddenly changed Tilda, look, that's Marshal Sengoku's ability, FK Tilda, this is the first time I've seen it, Marshal Sengoku has been in the background for so long that many people have forgotten that he was once a pirate's nightmare, yes, although Marshal Sengoku is known as the resourceful general, don't forget that he is also very strong, that's right, if you don't have the strength of Admiral, it is impossible to become Admiral first and then Marshal, Sengoku's attack immediately aroused everyone's shock, especially many melon eaters who saw Sengoku's ability for the first time were completely stunned by this golden Buddha, don't say anything else Tilda, this golden Buddha looks amazing, stop, straw hat, don't think I'll let you go, with a thunderous throat from the golden light Buddha, Sengoku raised his fist that was shining with Buddha's light, I won't show mercy either, Luffy 440 gritted his teeth and glared at Sengoku, his whole body was shocked, boom, bang bang, boom 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 boom, as Luffy's momentum changed, Bursts of drums with a special rhythm suddenly reached everyone's ears. What is that? Where's the sound of the drums? This drum sounds. Why does it have a feeling of freedom? It's such an intoxicating sound. If it's not on the battlefield, I really want to dance to the sound of the drum. On the battlefield, whether it is a pirate or a marine, listening to the drums full of special rhythms, they all fell into a feeling of longing for freedom and liberation tilde, especially pirates tilde. They can be pirates because they have a longing for freedom in their hearts. But at this time, listening to the sound of the drums, the longing for freedom was strongly stimulated. Not only that, the audience who watched the live broadcast in front of the big screens also heard the drums of freedom from the big screens. Hey, hey, hey Tilda where is the sound of the drum coming from? It's so exciting. FK, I thought I was hallucinating. So you heard it too. Drums indeed. It seems to be coming from naval headquarters. What the hell is this drum sound? Why does it make my blood boil? and I have a feeling of wanting to pursue freedom, people are starting to boil Tilda, many people couldn't sit still and stood up, they stared at the big screen intently, wanting to find the source of the drum sound Tilda, naval headquarters Tilda, what? Underscore, when Sengoku also heard the drum beat, his face suddenly changed, others don't know, but he is the marine marshal, he knows more things than others, like Luffy's devil fruit, five elders knows. Sengoku naturally knows Tilda, although this devil fruit is called rubber fruit, it is only a name modified by the world government. The real name of this devil fruit should be called Zone Phantom Beast Human Fruit Nicker form. And now, the drum, Sengoku, who is so close, can't hear that it's Luffy's heartbeat. Heartbeat sounds like free drums. Sengoku's mind suddenly realized something. Drums of freedom, fighters of liberation. That's rubber fruit awakened. At the same time Tilda, above the red line, Mary E. Joys, known as the Holy Land Tilda. There is a castle here, named Pongal Castle. In Pongal Castle, in the meeting hall of the Five Elders, the five elders are watching the battle scene of the naval headquarters through the live broadcast at this time. What? The moment he heard the drumbeat of freedom, D.A. Lao Xing, who was originally sitting on the sofa, suddenly jumped up, snow white hair and beard and beard, his two eyeballs widened suddenly, almost falling to the ground, this dot 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 this is, exclamation mark. He rushed to the front of the big screen with a brisk walk, stared at Luffy, and exclaimed, this kid Joey Bowie, damn, how could this happen, isn't this devil fruit completely dead, the blonde old star's complexion became extremely ugly, the devil fruit he said is dead, of course not the traditional concept of death, but this devil fruit has not been awakened for nearly 800 years, it's like a volcano that has always had the possibility of erupting, it can last for hundreds of years without incident, and others will subjectively think that it is an extinct volcano tilde, for so many years, the world government has been trying to take back this devil fruit, but this devil fruit seems to have a self-awareness, and everyone slipped away from the world government, and now, it has awakened, it's not a good phenomenon, Joey Bowie has awakened in this era, could it be that, shut up, Lord M doesn't like to hear such unconfident words, whether he is Joey Poy or not, we must nip this fire of freedom in the bud, that's right, the top priority is to kill this straw hat boy, dot, ace, five elders made a decision quickly after you spoke to me, grown ups, soon, a CPO wearing a yin and yang eye mask walks in, lead your team immediately and go to naval headquarters as quickly as possible, if you can arrive before the end of this war, remember, no matter what means you use, you must kill the straw hat boy, the big old star issued a firm order, the straw hat, yin yang eyes CPO frowned slightly, what is that, hearing this, big old star realized that the straw hat boy really entered the public eye today, it's perfectly normal for someone at the CPO to not know, then, he pointed to the big screen, 
that's the kid in the straw hat, understood. 8 Tilda, the CPO of the yin and yang eye mask just confirmed the appearance of the straw hat boy, but suddenly he was taken aback, because in the picture, the appearance of the straw hat boy suddenly changed. Ah ha 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 Tilda, ah ha 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 me, this heartbeat sound is so funny, so happy, Luffy grinned wide and laughed happily. At the same time, his clothes suddenly turned white Tilda, the hair turned into a white flame, constantly beating, around his neck, underarms and other places, there are white steam horses Tilda, Luffy, seeing the big change of Luffy in front of him, Ace was dumbfounded Tilda, his shocked eyeballs popped out of their sockets, this time, it's not exaggeration, it's real, Ace's eyeballs really jumped out of the eye sockets, like two living beads, dancing outside the eye sockets Tilda, Nanny, Sengoku accidentally caught a glimpse of this scene, and was so frightened that his mouth grew wide, eyeballs flying out of their sockets, what is this operation? question mark, but he opened his mouth in surprise, and his chin dropped to the ground, no exaggeration, it was really dragged to the ground tilde, damn, what's wrong with Marshal Sengoku, can he open his mouth so wide, scared me to death, I thought something was wrong with him, hey, hello, isn't this all right, why do I feel like I'm watching a cartoon, can a person's mouth really open enough to pull his chin to the ground, and that is, the eyeballs are flying out, it's too nonsense, those people around the execution platform saw the situation of Ace and Sengoku at this time, and they all had some doubts about life Tilda made. Is this just a dream? I am afraid that the only person in the audience who is not confused is Luo Lan. As a spoiler, he knows that this is all because of the sun god Nika Tilda. When rubber fruit awakens Nika, it will have an impact on everything around it. Not only can it assimilate the objects it touches into rubber, but it can also make the people around it have a cartoon effect. So, after awakening, this devil fruit will be regarded as the most stupid devil fruit in the world Tilda. It seems that this time I really can't let you go. Sengoku's heart speeded up at this moment, he knew that things were beyond the scope of his prediction. At this moment, I'm afraid killing Ace is no longer an important matter Tilda. The important thing is to solve this Joey Bowie in front of you. Sorry, old man. Even if he is your grandson, I can't keep it. In the original plot, when Sengoku faced Luffy, he actually let water Tilda. With Luffy's mediocre strength at that time, Facing a zone with Admiral's strength in the transformation state, Song's bone balloon blocked the punch. Is this reasonable? Question mark. Obviously, Thief is unreasonable. In that case, if Sengoku didn't show mercy, it would only make sense for Sengoku to punch Luffy in the stomach. But now, when the identity of Luffy's Joey Bowie appeared, Sengoku's original hidden heart disappeared instantly. What he is determined to do now is to kill Joey Bowie. Thinking of this, Sengoku no longer kept his strength and immediately mobilized the power of devil fruit in his body. Zone Phantom Beast Human Fruit Great Buddha Form Wake Up Chapter 200 God vs God Tactics Please subscribe With the awakening of the Buddha, the back of Sengoku's head suddenly shone with golden light, extremely dazzling. Ah! What blinded my eyes? What is this golden light? Oh my god, what is Sengoku's ability? Isn't that too exaggerated? This is the real Buddha, as the back of Sengoku's head blooms. Oh no! Consecration Tilda. A big golden sun appeared behind Sengoku's head Tilda. There are auspicious floats around the big day, which is spectacular. The entire Marinford battlefield is now illuminated by golden Buddha light, as if a true Buddha came to the world. Hey Tilda, Luffy's head was tilted 90 degrees to the left, with a super wow expression on his face. This is so much fun. Ah ha ha, straw hat boy. Can you still laugh? Get ready to accept justice. Sengoku clenched his right fist and retracted it Tilda. The golden Buddha's light condenses on this fist, shining countless golden stars Tilda. Buddha fist. As Sengoku uttered words like the sound of Buddha's voice, his voice was like a multidirectional stereo reverberation effect, shocking the audience Tilda. Then, he punched out Tilda. In addition to the arms wrapped in the jet black armament haki, there is a layer of golden Buddha light Tilda. Around the Buddha's light, there are countless Buddhist symbols of life beating crazily. Luffy, careful. Almost at the same time, Ace and Garp both cried out anxiously, too. They are anxious and there is no way to rescue them at this time Tilda. Boom, Sengoku's Buddha fist landed on Luffy's chest with a bang, and punched through directly. What? Sanji looked terrified and froze in place. Luffy, Nami turned pale with fright and was stunned. Luffy, Zora also stopped fighting with Hawkeye, and his expression changed drastically, and he stared in Luffy's direction. Hawkeye didn't continue to do anything, but squinted his eyes slightly, looked towards the direction of the execution platform, and murmured, No way. That kid just died like this. A-H-H. Impossible. Luffy. How can this be? Usopp looked crazy. Standing on the mast. Helpless. Chopper. Robin. Kaya. Brooke. Frankie and others also showed expressions of disbelief at this time. Only Liu o Lan. Took a look. And the corner of his mouth twitched slightly. Luffy's ability. Is really scary Tilda. Say buddy archipelago Tilda. Ah Tilda? The straw hat kid was shot? Question mark. At this time. Skilichmanap's mouth was opened like a ladle and he stood up abruptly, 
His face was full of astonishment. This, it's too sudden. That's right. Those guys in the straw hat pirates are also exaggerated in strength. They fight vice admiral for vice admiral, and those who fight admiral fight admiral. I didn't expect the captain to be so stupid. Give me a second tilde. Kaponberg took a deep breath of the cigarette, and couldn't believe what he saw. The crew members hung up one by one, but when they arrived at the captain's place, the live broadcast was interrupted. Question mark. Is this so reasonable? What an exaggeration. Hidustus grinned, but, that person is Sengoku after all. Don't make him an ordinary marine. ex Derek nodded, that's right. If anyone dares to underestimate Sengoku, he will definitely end up like a straw hat kid. It's a pity, the straw hat. Trafalgar Law gently tugged on the brim of his hat, with a regretful expression on his face. Not far from them. Hawkins' two hands were quickly flipping the cards in front of him. After a while, his expression came to a sudden, that's not right. The hexagram shows that the death rate of the straw hat boy is 0% Marin for Tilda. Good job. With an excited look on Seikazuki's face, he shouted excitedly. Woo Tilda, I really didn't expect it. It's too scary Tilda. Hizaru curled his lips, still looking like he deserved a beating. Is it dead? Okiji drew a distance from Brook, with surprise in his eyes. That's Garp's grandson. But was punched to death by Sengoku. No matter how good your relationship with Garp is, I'm afraid Mr. Garp won't let it go right? Damn. Ace's brother. Marco fell from the dare and stepped heavily on the ground, extremely angry. Ahem. That kid, can't just die like this? Whitebeard coughed up a mouthful of blood, and his face became more and more ugly. Then why not? Seikazuki sneered. Whitebeard, you are also a fellow of the same era as Marshal Sengoku. Do you know the strength of Marshal Sengoku? Do you really think that ten young pirates can be the opponent of Marshal Sengoku? Hearing this, Whitebeard's heart sank. Although he is unwilling to accept this kind of thing, but in all fairness, what Seikazuki said is not wrong Tilda. Although Sengoku is old, it would be a terrible thing to underestimate a veteran. But just when everyone thought Luffy was finished, boom, bang bang, bang bang bang, boom 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 boom. The sound of the drums, like the battle song of freedom, once again shook people's hearts Tilda. Hey 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 Tilda. This is exclamation mark. All eyes turned towards Luffy at almost the same time Tilda. Ah ha ha Tilda. Zero dot 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 seeking flowers. Ah ha ha ha. Luffy covered his forehead and laughed happily. He didn't care that there was still Sengoku's fist in the middle of his chest Tilda. On Sengoku's big face, there was an incomparable shock in an instant. Are you kidding me? He looked at his fist that pierced Luffy's chest, and then saw that Luffy looked like a normal person. This is a big joke. Not only does he think so, but the pirates and marines on the battlefield, and the Melanitas in front of the live broadcast screens. Everyone looked at this scene in disbelief. Nee Matilda, too much nonsense come on. Ah ha ha Tilda. Luffy smiled for a while, clenched his hands into fists, elongated instantly, and launched towards Sengoku. Don't think I'm letting my guard down. Seeing Luffy attacking, Sengoku didn't think about why this strange situation happened anymore. He swung his left arm horizontally and blocked Luffy's fists directly. Not only that, but he also used observation haki to lock the trajectory of Luffy's two punches. Without any calculation errors, this blow can completely block Luffy's attack. Boom, boom. As Sengoku expected, both of Luffy's fists landed on Sengoku's crossed arm. Ah, poof, poof. After two strange sounds sounded, these two fists of Luffy actually drilled directly into Sengoku's arm, and then penetrated through the past. Um? Question mark. Sengoku was taken aback. He didn't feel any pain at all, but saw that Luffy's fist had come out of the side of his arm. Boom, boom. Before Sengoku could react, these two fists landed on Sengoku's eyes. This is the legendary eye sealing fist. Yes, first seal your vision, Tilda. Poof, poof. Another two strange voices, Tilda. Then I saw that when Luffy's fists landed on Sengoku's eyes, they also directly penetrated through the past. All this sounds like a cumbersome process. But it actually happens in a flash tilde. At this moment when everyone is still immersed in the matter of Luffy was killed by Sengoku with one punch, Luffy's fist has directly penetrated Sengoku's arm and eyes. Then it came out from the back of Sengoku's head. No doubt tilde, Sengoku's arms, face, and the back of his head were all blown up. Hiss. Dash. This sudden big turning point scared almost everyone silly tilde. On the entire Marin-filled battlefield, it is strangely quiet at this time tilde. But everyone who saw this scene couldn't help but gasped. If you like this audiobook, Subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.